Hey guys, we start I think because I went and grabbed a little bite. Oh my god, it's gonna feed bad probably. Hopefully you can see me. But um we're gonna do this soon. Wait, we should just mute. <laughs> Will you mute when I'm talking? Oh okay. I'll mute when you're talking. Oh, mute. Uh oh. She might be too close, guys. I can just shut mine off. That's the worst. One second, guys. Hi guys. Thank you. I should drink that for later. Oh, this is my nail place. They didn't see me. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, smart with the shade thing. So it does so much. Oh, my God. It really does. Lifesaver. It's a life shader. <laughs> okay, guys, we decided we're just going to do our interview as we planned. Much easier. Much easier. And I can go like this. Hold on. Let me move this over a little. There. It's just it wouldn't behoove me to try to have any attention on this while I'm talking. Yeah, so. I agree. Okay, well, first of all, let's, um, let's um, tell them your channel, because we oh. always keep telling your channel. Okay, it's Eric Raider, uh, or BS Incinerator. I don't know, either one yeah. you could use. BS uh. Incinerator. <laughs> I-N, I had trouble spelling that. I-N-C-I-N-E-R-A-T-O-R. Yes, there or you ER. Go. I don't know. And is don't yeah, know. BS incinerator. That's it. <laughs> Why would I know how to spell my own isn't, channel? Wait, isn't <laughs> I was raised in a cult. <laughs> you expect a lot from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, he's doing good so far, guys. <laughs> so go subscribe to him really quick just so he feels um 
loved and heard and understood. Awesome. So also, we're walking up to the big blue guys. I'm going to do a little shifty change here. These restaurants and things were definitely not here. <laughs> this is a liquor store. Remember a little market? Yes. Oh, my God. There was a bunch Santa of them. Shop. Yeah. These were all different little shops. That's little right. Shop. And wasn't there like a vitamin shop that was owned here? Yeah. Not Peter Gillen's. Is that down there? And That's Scientology. This owned. two places that they made one. I used to have an office right here. And uh, this was survival insurance. That's crazy. That's right. My friend Sina used to work for <laughs> survival insurance. I wonder if you knew her. Did you know a girl named Sina? Yeah. Blonde, really funny, has a cute crackle laugh. I don't know. She's hilarious. Okay, guys, who can guess where we are? <laughs> Gosh. I mean, it's kind of cool and peaceful even right here. But I can't okay. believe that I'm even what, looking at this yeah, with someone who knows what this is about. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Just for you guys in the chat so you know. Eric, will you tell your story? Just give them the rough. I was born and raised uh, in it. Da, 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 like whatever. Born in. Um, was on course from 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12. And then stayed clear of it till about 19 20 then i did the purif that was a joke but i had money on in my accounts so i said what the hell from your parents or yeah yeah okay um that well, tends actually, to be how it is guys it's always from the parents or demanding like hey you got to get on course well i actually and now i remember it was it was my boss was a scientologist and he was like he paid for my ias membership because that was before you had to have one like mm -hmm. Uh, can you say what you, the company was or whatever? No, I don't want to. No? That. Okay, okay. No, I don't want to. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of this where the, we worked for Scientology companies. When yeah. you leave the Sea Org, this is one of the first things you do is go work for a Scientologist or somebody. And that's kind of a way to ease into the world, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Okay. It, um, just so living then, in this neighborhood, like everybody I knew, you know, was a Scientologist, literally. Because mm -hmm. um, you can't speak to non-Scientologists. Uh, they sniff you out and they know you're crazy and they don't want nothing to do with it. Or they'll ask you questions that are hard to answer because we're not even sure. Like, if somebody would have, do you think if somebody would have asked you, like, who's Zenu or whatever, would you? Oh, Jesus, no. You well, would have been like, no, that's made up, right? Yeah, that's alien. I guess that's so. like, oh, yeah, there's aliens in Scientology. We, as, as younger, that's how I felt. I felt like, uh, like, oh, that's such, like, of course they're going to talk shit. Right. Of course, at the outside world, they don't know anything. Come see for yourself. That was the, that was the thing comes like, you know, if you, if you're interested, read a book, see for yourself. I was always afraid of getting in trouble. So I would like try to pitch the, you know, buy a book nonsense because, mm -hmm. you know, LRH is like, don't tell anyone, just tell them to buy a book. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, so I go, you know, read it's it really for simple, yourself. just yeah. an applied philosophy. It's like, you know, you don't, you don't pray to nothing. You know, you just, you just do it like A to Z and, you know, and everything, your life goes fantastic. Mm -hmm. I had this whole robot persona that was, I, would, I could snap into under those circumstances right, right no my dad did the guys my dad had the same attitude probably the, like similar to the one you heard on the phone where he's just like anytime i would get him into a sort of emotional like oh that's kind of sad or he'd be like okay well that's you know can we come up tone a little bit or like oh, he would just yeah. say stuff that would be like back into that bail like the bailings oh god oh that's another one get out of bailings don't oh, be in bailings the worst. I hate get back in balance. Get back in balance. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, so continue. So, so, so yeah. So, so um, then you went back. Did the purification rundown where? Here? Yeah. He did the purification rundown at 19. How old are you? Yeah. 55. No, how old were you? Oh, 20, 19, 20. 19 yeah. or 20 doing the purification rundown in this big blue building in the basement, or where was it? It was. Um, on the side there, you know, Should where we they walk have the down there? Yeah. We're going to walk down there, guys. We're going to give you full mass. <laughs> <laughs> this is why this, this is crazy. Funny. Guys, I we're going to be using a lot of Scientology about. lingos. So, this and then so I good. also wanted to tell the chat, you didn't start even talking about your story or anything literally until like a month ago, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Can you tell them how? Like, well, what um, made you start doing it? You were originally listening. My whole family's dead. So I was like. So you had nothing else to lose? They couldn't hurt me anymore. Wow. That's what made you okay now. Yeah. And then what made you come out to the protests or whatever? Um, 
I've been watching the Aaron. Audit. A. A. Ron growing a. up Ron. in Scientology. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always for, shout him out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching A. A. Ron for like probably a year or more. Off the radar, right? And so they were you considered an under radar? Like you wouldn't is, be taught under the radar. Like you're not really speaking out loud about it. You're just kind of listening, just, receiving information, but not declaring that you're not a Scientologist. Well, yeah, it's weird because like I, I hadn't said a word. Because my sister was still traffickers with a bunch of uh, working for Scientologists, and she would have been destroyed if I said anything. So mm. um, I, I just knew I was never going to say anything. So it was like a guilty Your pleasure. Your sister? Yeah. Can is how did, did she die? Yeah, my. Um, oh, are you okay talking about that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know. So it, how did when did she pass? Oh, uh, well, my whole family passed in twenty two. So my dad passed a cancer. May 30, and then my sister passed first week of December, and my mom passed four or five days later. Oh my gosh, um, dang. It's a hell of a How day. the hell did you deal with all that? It wasn't easy. Oh um, my goodness, like for reals, how did you deal with all that? I mean, uh, I lived in Vegas, so I just, it was easy to get drinks at, you know, nine in the morning. Right. Um, I mean, the first month I went crazy. So you, so you I didn't kind deal with anything. Of, right. After that, couldn't you believe? Like, <laughs> I can't believe this is this I is just, like shocking. Yeah, because isn't there no warning for any of that? You just feel so alone. Oh my God, Eric! No. Oh, it sucks. I can't. It sucks. Oh my God! Uh, so you lost your mom, your dad, and your sister. Yeah, all in two thousand and two. Six months. Jesus, two, two, two. That is crazy. I started this live stream at two twenty two. I told you. Wow. I said, we're going to have an interview at 222. That's so crazy. Eric, I'm so, wow. So did you just hide from the world for a little bit? Just for a couple of weeks. It was, I mean, I knew, I knew. Did you have a, okay, next question. Yeah. Did you have a good relationship with your family? Well, other than them being like, I mean, this is a huge thing. I'm not saying that it's not. Wait, was I muted the whole time or did I just do that? Oh, I must have. When did I get muted? You can hear now. Can you hear now, Linda? Linda, Linda. There's somebody in the chat named Linda. He said, Linda, Linda, can you hear me? Linda, listen, Linda. Just did it. Just muted. Okay, but you can hear me now? Okay, good. You just did it. Okay, they didn't say. I, they could hear us the whole time. Oh, I was literally about to cry. Okay, so I was just telling him it was really cool that, I mean, not cool. He was just telling me about his family and that they all passed away in 2022. And I was like, that's so weird because twos are my numbers. They're just alignment numbers or whatever. And I started this. I jokingly was like, oh, I'm going to start the stream with Eric at today at 222, as you guys know. So yeah. That is trippy. That is trippy. So, okay. So were you very close with your dad? Uh, my for, my can dad I and I were contentious at best okay um and <laughs> i'm not uh, fully sure if i know what that word means oh just we you've given me a misunderstood word <laughs> but i can i can feel empathy now so i understand what you're saying well i don't want you to quit this raider study so i'll, I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> please i don't want to you know go past a misunderstood word and blow oh no uh so yeah we we, we got along i mean we we just were oil and water, thing, but, you yeah. know. Yeah, we. It's he's your dad. We we had to play that fair fair roads. Yeah, good roads, good, good weather. weather. Like, oh, you're my son. I have to deal with you. Oh, you're my dad. I have to deal with you. Yeah, he um, he was actually like the majority of Scientologists that I met in my life, which are people who do one or two things, and then they become the staunchest supporter ever, but never go on lines again. Right. Like, yeah, like, or go up the bridge. Or go up the bridge. Like, my mom and dad have never, from what I know from the last years, that would be funny if they're like, what do you mean your mom is OT7? <laughs> and she just got OT7, like, in three months. Oh, no. But my mom and dad have not passed clear. And if they have, they haven't gone past OT1, that's for sure. Well, like my, and they've been my dad for 50 went, years. Well, my dad went clear. That's another reason I knew clear was bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're like, you're still being a dick. And he over, and, and Ron oversold clear so desperately, right? Because mm -hmm. he didn't have anything else at the time, right? Mm -hmm. So 
the whole perfect memory, never getting sick, higher IQ shit. Right. And and I knew a bunch of dribbling clears who, you know, had a hard time with slip-ons. I'm like, there's no fucking way this that he's gonna <laughs> okay. There's no Okay, so he way. knew that his dad wasn't clear, but no he was still a diehard Scientologist, right? Yes. But what what the here's part of the trap is my mom was such an amazing person. Mm. Even with somehow she was strong enough to even withstand this and still be a, a an amazing light uh, and just an amazing person and somehow be the glue to keep us from spinning off the face of the planet. Because at the time, my sister was studying like 15 hours a day. Mm -hmm. She was on course 12 hours a day. Then she'd come home and listen to tapes. Um, she was doing the St. Hill Special Briefing course, which is basically the biggest course in Scientology. Um, she finished it at 12. I mean, that's fucking unheard of. People will, will audit all day if they're rich come from a rich family you can, you can blaze up the yeah the auditing side through that that course and and um my mom was was basically she wasn't gonna lose her family right so she was training and i think she was just hoping desperately that that carrot was real right because mm -hmm. you know how like you yeah. always hear people say after ot one. Yeah, and they I do this at every Friday night at graduation. It's like, guys, when I came out of that session, I, like, it's just so, yeah. So you just think like, oh, we are going through all this crap to, to feel this freedom. I never felt more douchey in my life than when I was doing my attestations, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I got so good at it, you know, because I knew what people wanted to hear. I had them clapping like Explain seats. what that is. So, um, so when you attest to a, a, a course, right, or any 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 action on the bridge, there's an end phenomenon you're supposed to reach by doing that service. And so I already know what I'm supposed to say. You gave me the answer, right? And so I'm like, you know, ever since yada yada, you know, now I only need, you know, two hours sleep a day. You know, I got it a boner the last seven hours, you know, I can remember what I did 300 years ago, you know, whatever. It, 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 you just, you just give them what they want. Cause you can't oversell it. They'll let you say anything, no matter how crazy, if it's on their side. Yeah. They don't care if there's nothing to back it up. But I knew if you, if you dare say you didn't get a gain, you're in ethics. Yeah. You get what's called a red tag. You <laughs> yeah. get a red tag and then it's either ethics or cramming or an ARC break handling. But either way, you're either writing up your overs and withholds or you're getting a security check. Oh, I got to ask you this before I forget. Did you, I, I used to make up people that were SPs in my pocket so that I could dump someone when I had to. So if I had an issue, oh, I, that's so in the shit house, I could say if it was in liability or whatever, I could be like, why, what happened was, you know, this guy up the street, you know, yeah. Larry, yeah. you know, I just, I never did that. I know at the in ranch, there was definitely something with kids feeling forced that they had to blame somebody for being like the out ethics person right. or the opinion leader or the SP. They're acting like an SP. So if they don't call you an SP, let's be, clear. I would be like, if they don't call you an SP, they're still going to label you in their mind as being like, you're just on the verge of being declared an SP. Yeah, I'm like, and I noticed the guy rolled his eyes, you know, when I said um, I was reading Dianetics or like, I just make up crap because I didn't know anybody. <laughs> Here's the problem. You're not I think my mom even said, well, tell me what you're thinking of. And I was like, what if it's made up? She was like, Let, she would just be like, tell me what you're thinking about. It was self-analysis and TRs and objective auditing. Oh, and I was like, so then it confused me like, oh, maybe these are past lives. They're not memories. They're past. Like, they're not just imagining their past lives. Uh, but every, I just started, I realized like they hit you so hard. If you say you don't get gains that you never do it again. Mm -hmm. So I learned that quick and, um, and but anyway, my whole sun, family, sun break. yeah, my whole family was, uh, except my dad was on full time pretty much. So I thought at the beginning, I just wanted to make them happy because my sister. The beginning, was, do you mean when you were when eight I first years started old? Going, yeah. Okay. I wanted to make them happy. Let's and and I knew that. they were so proud of my sister. I was like, that'd be so great if they were, Actually, it's if they, like if they were proud of me. Right. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and at first it's enthralling because you're being treated like an adult, but it's be careful what you wish for. I didn't understand 
what that encompassed and um be careful what you wish for yeah what do you mean in other words once i started getting Sorry. treated like an adult um it really started kicking my ass because i'm not an adult right and i have no experience so when you were a kid they were treating you like an adult though that's what you uh, yeah like yeah they, they, that was already in your mind like knock yeah. off your bank hey you're being down tongue right long Come before up, i got on you course must be committing over yes right i knew all that yeah <laughs> so i was like okay this is this is how i'm really going to get on my parents good side and now i could go to bed when i wanted even though i was still passing out at the same time or you know what i mean but it just was like i was able to do things myself and i was like wow and this, this is, is cool. when nine years old so you know? you're just thinking well scientology has given me this tool so to speak it's making me feel like i'm actually a big being and i can take care of my own and i don't need my mom to babysit me because that's just banking and i trusted it because why would i not trust it right. if my mom and sister and dad are you know why would we not trust it i'm like this gotta work right this is gotta work <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's not funny <laughs> but it's just plainly like this is how we think this is how kids think that's why kids can't consent to scientology because you don't even see yourself getting into it whereas adults can catch them ah, i'm being manipulated here like stevie weeby said they asked him for his bank account info oh. like oh, they were like how much money do you have in your you know in your main bank account or whatever and he was just like my father doesn't even ask me for that fucking shit like that's my private shit <laughs> right, it's right, like right. why are you, why are you so they really want to get into this psyche and as a child you think i'm so lucky to have been born in this i'm so lucky like i should honor it not that you feel lucky you just feel like oh i better honor it you know my, and my every mom and dad day, are in this i'm yeah. hearing every day okay this is at la brea when the celebrity center was on la brea yep every day guys this is where la brea where i was born on wilcox and selma is the birthing is where the birthing was for the SAT, Sea Org members and staff members that were at the Celebrity Center on La Brea in 1986. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. So yeah, I was born oh my down God. the street. That's so and, crazy. And it, that was the birthing, the dorm birthings for the Celebrity Center on La Brea. I wow. found that out from Janice uh, Grady when she was talking on my show. I was like, what? Okay, so, continue. So, um, but every day I'm getting just- So you're going to Celebrity Center on yeah. La Brea. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> And, and every day I'm having people, people are like, oh, your son is so amazing. And I mean, they already knew my sister. They're like, she's incredible. You know, oh, she, right. she already born, cleared me and checked me out on this and that and the other. And, yeah. and she's At on her, Celebrity oh, Center? Uh, yeah. yeah. And she's like on her 11th hundred tape on <laughs> briefing course. And, and she would help everybody. And she was a class uh, four auditor or eight auditor at that point. I forget. She was just out of control for like yeah. a 12 year old. Yeah. And so everyone knew her. And then I come on those coattails and now... I'm there every day, nine to five, nine to six, whatever the hell it was. And, and so now I'm getting all this love. I'm just getting love bombed, right? Yeah. Wow, your kid's so great. And of course, my dad ate all that crap up. Um, and, and so it seemed like things were, things were okay at the beginning. Right. Um, and though there's a bunch of things I'm going to tell you guys about the incredible evil of this place, being a, when you're a kid, there was a couple advantages of being a kid. And one of those is I don't get pitched, you know, to give donations. Right. Six times a year. Right. Because you already, day. you're kind of already. Uh, I got no money. Also, they don't, I was going to say, wait, you don't have money. I'm They're nine. using you to do stuff. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> so I don't have to. And you know? Even your parents, they're not going to be giving the money to you, sadly. They're going right. to be like, well, we have enough just to pay for this OT level. Right. And we're going to have to do OT3 because you know they're going to be hounding us for that. It's like you're already <laughs> thinking like, oh, yeah, you, they're not ready. Like, they already know they have your money or not. Yeah. That's the thing. And so, that my next yeah. my next things are already paid for. So like, right. you're like I got oh, to just I always cruise should be on course. through a right. lot of and things. And they're regging your parents. Yes. Like, uh, you better keep him on track. Yes. You know that he has to be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a lot of things that went to my advantage at first, but. What did, can I you ask know, you a question? What did yeah. you do between like nine and 10 and uh, like uh, 17, I did, um, 17, 18 or whatever? Well, I did the, I think it was, uh, what, HAS? HQS? You know, no, HAS. Oh. Hubbard Assistant Scientology, whatever it was. It was, called, it was the concourse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a oh, baby, baby yeah. concourse. Uh, so you, I, mean the, you mean the child communication course? No, they didn't have that then. The Hubbard it was called the HAS. HQS. No, that's the Hubbard Qualified Scientology. H-A-S, okay. Anyway, it was just yeah, the yeah. calm course. Yeah, yeah. So I did that. And then I did the like- The calm up. course. 
<laughs> it's like ups and downs or something. Yeah, ups and downs for life. Um, in life. And then I think it was HQS. My dad's in the ups and downs for life booklet. In, oh, okay. He's one of the drawings. He still steals the purse. Oh, wow. And he's feeling bad about his over. Wow. And he's writing it up. He's you're teaching. Uh, they're teaching you how to. That's so trippy. Uh, how to write your overts and withholds. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Yeah. Well, um, I did. Then I did the HQS course. And okay. So you were going on course. Yeah. And then around. So as you're going up, there's certain steps. Once you do HQS and student hat, then you can do the pure if on the other side, right? There's pure like if wasn't even existing yet. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, so this is in the, the in this the is Brea. before I did Ned before the levels. This is yeah. where the levels came after Ned. Okay. And then they tried to act like there was these reasons. The only reason they switched that around is because nobody could get through the Ned course. It, it took so me hard. two years to get through that son of a bitch. <laughs> and guess what? Everyone when I who was in there for six months when I got there, yeah. when I started, was still on that son of a bitch when I finished it. So they were like, wait a second. This ain't good. We need to get these levels first. Get some of this money. Yeah. And then, and then if, they, if they get stuck on Ned, that's okay. But we can get all this dough from the levels. That's what I believe happens. A hundred percent. No, a hundred percent. And they can get it from people who buy into it to redo it again. And yeah. from new people like, look, it's so much faster now. Right. And even at the graduations, they were promoting that nonstop. They were promoting that. And look at a flag. People are going up the bridge three times as faster. <laughs> So and so just got OT five in three weeks at right. flag. It was really like that. Yeah, it was so gross. Okay, let's and continue. Tech TRs course before it was called the Pro TRs course. Yep. Um, tech TRs. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so do you think Dave? Who was approving all these still? L. Ron Hubbard. Um. So he, L. Ron Hubbard was still alive when yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. he died in 1986, and then I was, I was born. Anything, though, as you guys know, I'm mine. making amends from my past life. Mm. Being out on Hubbard, so I'm coming back and taking the Colt down. Nice. Just kidding. Because <laughs> he died February 6th, I think, and I was born February 12th. Ooh, that proves you're. I'm the reincarnated. Dude. <laughs> that you is could go so use gross. those offices. I, I, those, I could be like, I know how to sign those the signature. Those cigarettes are stale as fuck, though. <laughs> Don't they put the pack oh. of cigarettes there on this desk? Yeah, the cool. Oh, they. That's so gross. I oh. bet you they don't anymore. They still? <laughs> That's so gross, guys. <laughs> okay, so. so well, it all started well enough, is my point. Right. right? And your um, sister and she was, was going it. on the courses, and so then you were, whatever. <clears throat> and then, so this, you're still a family in Scientology. Do you go to the events and all that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. the events. Did you go to the Tom Cruise one? Um, where no. they gave him the ballot? No, I, no. I was so far out of here by then. <laughs> uh, and what did you think about that now that we're jumping ahead? Yeah. Um, he looked just, he reminded me of every Scientologist right. I'd ever spoken to who had a lot of training. That's so crazy. He slightly reminded me of my dad. Wow. Isn't that gross? There's certain times when David Miscavige reminds me a little bit of my dad because of his behaviors. They yeah. act the same or they're like, hey. Like knock that off or whatever it is. It's just so weird, but yeah, he, he creepy. Looked, um, so then he was just insane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looked insane. I mean, there's um, no way you can look at him speak and say he's okay. Yeah, I mean he's manic as hell. Yeah, no, Tom. There's a lot that we don't we don't even need to. Yeah, Tom just needs to go get some psychotherapy. I even stopped Travolta at, at Celebrity Center back in La Brea. And he's the only celebrity I've ever seen inside an orc. Interesting. You know? I mean, well, they did you go to in. flag at all? No. Okay. I went to flag and we definitely, that's where, you know, the, the higher ups and the bougie bouge got to pay for that bougie bouge. Mm, wonderful. And what better guys, when they go to Florida, the, the, the food, the hotels, the, the, where they go, everything is spent every in dollar. Scientology. Every dollar. They don't go and give it to the community of Clearwater or whatever. Guys, we're turning, we're going and down. why do you have to go to Flag to get your sec check every six months for OT7? How come you can't do it here? Right, right. It's so dumb. Just money. Just gross. Like, every aspect of Scientology is just, like, bullshit in oh. the end. Like, even that aspect is so, that's, you're, they're already lying. This is, this is, this is lightology. Okay. So, ooh, we see some chalk on oh, the cool. So, so, um, with your parents and all that, um, I feel like just because, do you feel like 
they all when they all passed away in 2022 did they did you like was you said it was three weeks or a month that you felt like you were like oh when did you or was it like a year later when you were hearing aaron a aaron well, well here's the thing about that is um i never could believe i would watch anything having to do with scientology in my life but Aaron here we can say made it palatable okay and entertaining so i was like uh-huh. i got hooked but i didn't know there was a community yeah and i never had been on youtube like where i saw a chat i watched them on tv yeah so i thought there's probably 700 people besides me watching this yeah and a lot of them give them three bucks every so often yeah i mean that's all I about this. yeah and so when i saw on 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 the, on the phone there's like all this all these people and then i found um william good streets yep and from that i found you know you and and and, uh, and jessica and chris and whatever and it just started flying all over but and i couldn't believe there's like a community so after watching all you guys for like two months and realizing most people weren't even in which still blows my mind. Yeah, that they've never been in Scientology or the Sea Org, and I, that they're I here. I thought they had to be all as sick as me to, <laughs> to spend one second on this. Right, right. Because right. my, I never would I've ever imagined that someone could. Uh, so amazing to me. So, then I thought to myself, man, I got to get up. I got to get my gap tooth fat ass over there to say thank you to everybody. <laughs> I have to. Uh-huh. Cause it'd be, I just, I can't, I couldn't, I just wasn't comfortable sitting down and watching it anymore. I said, I have to go say thank you. And that's why I came out Yeah. and I saw selfless and he was unbelievably cool and so easy to talk to. Yeah. I couldn't believe the flow I got from him. Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, you got a story to tell blah, blah, blah. And I'm sick. What the fuck? Selfless self is in the chat. I'm sure I saw him earlier. He's so amazing. And, and then DOA, same thing. Yep. And um how long ago was that would you say um i've been I've, my youtube account's like 15 days old <laughs> guys look at that <laughs> and 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 i had like 300 subscribers in an hour or something because of doa you know? yeah and um but then I, I i realized how after my first or second like video like how cathartic it was mm-hmm. and even even when I desperately don't want to be here and I, and I make myself come when I leave, I feel so good. Cause it just diminished it. A hundred percent. It's literally, yeah, exactly. Your fear has been diminished even yeah. more and yeah. even more yeah. and even more and, yeah. and you're learning and then you're, you're, it diminishes, but you're also getting strength. So you're not like losing it completely because you also are finding that everybody around here is actually, there's so many nice, beautiful people in the yeah. world actually. And Scientology not only has, we've not just broken away from Scientology, but we have to get Scientology off of us. Like we have to like get it. Oh goodness. No, the world is not a bad place. There's just certain things that happen that put people in certain horrible situations and people do things that, that are having mental issues, having addictions, having something that they are just straight up that, that Scientology will never help or handle. They're just going to keep them under a auditing sort of, I, we're 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 gonna use that we're gonna threaten yourself to make yourself better yeah that's it that's all we've got we're gonna fucking make you fearful of us of you of mm. what you know so that's where anyways yeah so they so i just i was amazed and then when i when i heard some of your story and natalie's and aaron's i already knew but then like i don't know what it was but all of you guys would always touch on something that was like an absolute ruin of mine. Like just, oh God, that would yeah. just make me go like, just cringe up. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh my God, someone else understands that. Yeah. That's so heavy. Cause you think, Oh, you I have alone gotten so angry about things on my lives. Oh. I'm like, and I just cry in anger. It feels like angry tears. I want people to know in a nutshell. Okay. That like you see, you hear Serge talking about the essay and stuff, right? Yeah. And that's just like, I can't even imagine. Yeah. But I want people to know this place is so insidious Mm -hmm. and it destroys you on every conceivable level where 
for any for anyone under 18 to be in here is is, is just for anyone to be here in any age is, is insane but that is so ridiculous and um in no time flat they had me i mean i don't even know how i got out of this thing and not and, and didn't jump out of a, a window. Window. i don't know yeah yeah because it's that crazy yeah but like if you look at a, if you look at a picture of a kid i looked at pictures of me at nine and ten you're a baby right you're a baby yeah. Had no idea. All, all I was doing was rolling up boogers and seeing which finger I could flick it off of. That's my experience in life at that point, right? And then you jump into this. It is so intense. These training drills and regimens have one purpose: to to get you to do things, to be comfortable with doing things you don't want to do, and to get comfortable making other people do things they don't want to do and to create personalities that you can pull out when needed. Yep. And that's your only protection. And when I heard like you and uh, Aaron and Allie talk about like, and someone else <coughs> talk about when you get that moment to yourself, because you're so busy in this crap. It, it takes every, it consumes every minute of your life. And I would go home. Um, I mean, once I started auditing, my life went to shit. Well, the Ned course was the worst part of my life. That was, that was misery. Um, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing adults confide in me. Mm -hmm. Like I have the answers. Like, I, like I know what I'm doing. Right. And you inherently feel like you can go to adults for safety and for comfort, right? I started thinking they're all insane. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I thought this guy was totally cool and normal and he's telling me stuff he did to an animal that I couldn't repeat, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're the most psycho man on earth. You should, yeah. you should literally and be in jail. There's no, there are some people <laughs> that as a child, even as a child, whether they tried to make us not one or not, I remembered the ethics handlings I had to do with them. And I was just, I, I, there's no way to take that taint out of somebody Oh my God! like that tainted, like, Ooh, you're not the person you seem like you are. But then what it also did to a child's mind is make it okay. That people were just being smiley and normal about it to protect the look of Scientology and that it's just a reactive mind. You're not, the person's not bad. It's just his reactive mind. We're just going to audit that out. So it numbs the actual sickness. I had literally gotten in trouble a couple times with the CS, the case supervisor is the person who goes over to the auditing sessions and makes sure everything is done the way it was supposed to be done. I couldn't write. I mean, I only was doing cursive for like a year before I got into Scientology, right? That's yeah. when you learn, what is it, third grade, how to do cursive. Mm -hmm. right? So, of course, I'm not great at this, but I had to... I didn't know how to spell super debased sexual terms. I don't know how to spell this. I don't even know what he said. You know, I'm, I'm wrote Ducati when it's supposed to be Bukaki or whatever. I like. I, I literally did not know what a BJ was. Yeah. Um, until, like, at some point at the Int Ranch, nine or ten years old, somebody said, "You're not calling Ben Render BJ anymore." because <laughs> bj's short for benjamin <laughs> and they said no they were they I said i remember that then so I everybody called him ben 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 render oh but my he, god I, my our whole child life we called him bj hey bj what do you like and that's just so horrible i don't know it blows me and away. i didn't even know what that was as i was writing somebody up for it giving them a program it's just but you're not supposed to react like anything right you've got to keep reaction. your trs in right any confront you should be able to confront anything like, in fact it's amazing that they got this off to you you feel like oh wow this was intense well that means this was something they were holding for a long time and you're going to be able to help them and fix them with it by and, the fact that they said thing, it when someone else would go through incredible grief and loss and share that with me let me see a nine-year-old out there who, who can hold it together during fucking bambi okay let alone this shit yeah real life yeah okay and you know it was obvious i had um broke and teared up because it was on my worksheet yep 
this is the kind of shit you get in trouble for. Yeah. <laughs> they never once stop and say, I can't believe a child had to listen to this or, or confront this. This is insanity. But no, how come you broke? Like, obviously, you know, you either went past misunderstoods or you're out ethics. And that's the only thing you'll ever hear no matter what when something's wrong, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I developed these personalities that I could go grab. But again, what I heard you, uh, Natalie say and someone else, I think you too, is like when you have that moment that you could be yourself and all your defenses come down. And it's so insane. Like um, those couple minutes before I go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, one time I remember praying because I went to the YMCA camp during the summer. Um, and they're a Christian group. Yeah. I know nothing about, you know, uh, Scientologists love to belittle every religion there is. right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know who I was praying to. Or how? Right. You you were I just, just knew going to go like this. Yeah. So you're like, maybe this will work. Exactly. I fucking had the same thing, guys. I was 10 years old, nine years old, being locked in that closet in a cleaning closet, and I was so angry because I had just been spanked so many times, and I was still yelling "f you, fuck you," <laughs> and I didn't care. I was like, "Do it again." I don't care. I just lost it. I was like, I was like, "That's it. I'm done." Yeah. And uh, and then they slamming through me in the in the lo in the closet, and they, in that moment when I was kicking the door so hard, I was just like, "I don't want to die, but I don't." I don't want to be doing this. I hear that. Like I knew as a 10 year old that even though I didn't even know about the outside world or the world, I just knew for some reason, maybe the outside world won't be as hard as this. Total. Not, I, if, I, not even like 100%. having to do with Scientology or not. I was just like, this is too much for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain hundred percent, but you explained it perfectly. That's exactly it. And I remember praying and then, what was so sad was I, I thought um, that God didn't help me because he was pissed I was here. Mm. So I figured now I can't even get God to help me if there is one. You know, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, if he is there, he doesn't care about me. What made you think about the God? Well, because I, I went to that YMCA camp. Oh, like okay. Said, and and so, they're all right, 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 yeah, right. So okay. I was like, man, this might work. I mean, I hope it works. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because I was always going <laughs> Anything. To sleep. I would always go to sleep praying that in the morning I'd be in a normal family. Mm -hmm. That was how I got to sleep. Oh, my gosh. I remember waking up thinking, or I would go to bed thinking someday maybe if I leave the Sea Org, I can go work for like a billionaire. And I do remember that. I remember being like, I know that I could work so hard for somebody. So that would pay me a lot. You know, I just was like, I don't know how I'm going to get that job, but like, I don't, I just felt like, I hope I don't need all this schooling and everything because I know somebody will need me for all the shit I'm good at. Yeah. So yeah. And weird. Now, oh, I remember what you said that also blew me away because it's exactly how I felt is, um, okay. After playing like, oh, I'm in this wonderful family. We got our shit together. You know, this is so amazing. We, and, and playing that up. Um, like I would go. I used to go up to the Greek theater all the time because we lived a couple miles from there. Yeah. And so I would just cruise on up there and listen to concerts for free, just sitting outside, you know. And But I would go, when I'd see lights on in these homes, I could never look at them and not wonder what it's like to be in there. I bet it's so awesome. Like they're just watching mm. TV. Yeah. They're watching the baseball game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're getting some pie. I bet yeah. they're getting some pie right now. Yeah. They're not eating wheat germ or whatever the fuck LRH said I'm supposed to eat today. Or, yeah. Know. The rice and beans. Yeah. Right. Uh, and, and, um, and they don't have to write up with W's. Yeah, they all the stress. They don't have a conditional liability. They could just leave and go <laughs> to the movies at any time. They could call up and, hey, what time does this movie start? And go. And just go. To, they can take a cab and drive oh, anywhere. I just used to dream and dream and dream about, about driving and going. Just, just, I thought it would be so, so great. And so, anyway, um, it, it spins you out so badly. Like, I ended up then... Uh, like I moved, I moved over here at 17. I just needed to get out of the house because I couldn't stand even being a part of that anymore. But it was, and I moved there because it was the cheapest place I could find. It was right over here, next to Ale. Oh, it should was, we go down? Yeah, it was three ninety five a month utilities paid. I think I, I had a few friends. Yeah, I had a few friends that had that BS Scientology deal, and they just didn't realize. Yeah, you're being monitored. 
yeah. like you're being monitored in and out they well, know what time they, they know if you're coming at three yeah but this camera is sure. everywhere around yeah. here they're gonna know and they know your background they know your family they know how much money they know what you have or haven't done they know what you don't know about your own parents yeah. and your sister that's another thing people don't realize we know shit that your uncles and mothers and fathers are probably literally terrified of you guys knowing it's it's so weird too to walk around with that right. kind of baggage at that age it's un yeah it's the kind of baggage that destroys adults yes so what do you think it's going to do to a nine year ten year old it's ridiculous and um um if i was getting any gains i could totally understand putting up with madness okay yeah but you know i knew all everything I learned I knew was crap because these people with all the tech don't have enough money for cigarettes <laughs> okay the people with all the tech are sick all the time people with all the tech so it, none of these things that, that I'm studying can I can I witness and remember what are they what do they smash into our heads look and don't listen yeah exactly no when verbal I that, tech I look and not listen and I'm seeing bullshit yeah okay and I had to BS my way out of every single service. I mean, think about M1 Co on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was the first course that when I read the EP at the very beginning, I'm like, oh, that's funny. Okay. Recover your entire education. Yeah. Oh really? no, when I when they I thought, oh my God, maybe this is why the bridge takes so long. Cause I'm gonna be on this forever. Because they were like, well, the, the, in the method one, they're like, what course, whatever, you have to go back and, and I was like, well, then we should look up all the songs, all the, you know, Madonna songs I've heard. And, and we started doing that and I was starting to get like carried away. And they're like, we think we're going to get you back. They, <laughs> Cause they're starting to get carried away at the music I was learning. Like you all get this a word stuff. string, they'll never and, end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you have to go back and do it all. And, but the, the, the supervisors were like, Let's get her back on to the policies. Are there policies, <laughs> LRH policies that she has misunderstood words on? That's the first. Yeah, you're. And imagine if you were a PhD or something. It would take seventy-one years to do M1. No. Correctly. Literally. It's such a joke. So again, they well, oversell everything. Well, not unless you're Laura Megan Anderson and. Um, Basically, at a certain point, I was like, I'm never going to get a new auditor. I hated my auditor. I was like, yeah. this is so annoying. Um, and he's an old man. That was really creepy. I was like, Ooh. I'm not fucking telling you anything. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I've been up and down your org board. I know all the post positions and I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> Anyways, but so then eventually I realized they weren't going to put me with anybody else. because You're not allowed to change the auditor on the pre-clears, whatever demands. So, um, it was fucking horrible. And, um, so eventually I said, okay, fuck all the music and the songs. I'm not doing that anymore. Like I was just like over cause I didn't want to do this auditing method one with this guy. Whoa. And I was 15 years old with like a 50, 45, 50 year old man. And he was so gross. Ugh. He was hoping I would talk about masturbation. Ugh. He would be like, so gross. Ew. Anywho, it's so gross. I can't. Well, um, so then I floated my needle all the way through all the questions. So if your needle and TA is floating, apparently I don't have to answer. I don't have to go back to those questions. The last smile I had in Scientology was actually M1 related. And it was when I finished, you become what's called fast flow. And that's yeah. if you finish student had an M1. Yeah. And which means you don't have to get checked out on any of the starred materials on your check sheet. And so now I can freely go past every word yeah. I don't know. And now you're like, yes. you read a book. Yes. I was like, fuck yeah. I was unstoppable. I was so happy. Because <laughs> basically you could just go straight. One, you're done oh. with the supervisor would do it, and you didn't have to do the test. You just go straight oh, so through. Great. So great. Ew, isn't that gross that they thought that that would be exciting for us? And it was. It was exciting for us to be fast flow <laughs> so that we wouldn't have to go through all all the, the it would just go right to the examiner thank you your needle's floating you'd be done and and uh clay demos oh gosh yeah, you oh, yeah, yeah. the student the supervisor would come they would come to your they would be supervising which you had to do two and a half minimum hours study a day so they come and like spot check you for misunderstood words but if you were a fast flow student 
Didn't need spot checks. Styling. Didn't need spot checks. Styling. Fast flow. Don't interrupt me. Thank I, you. I, <laughs> I figured out. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll just have to run it by you because I want to see if you think this was clever or not. I did figure out a way before fast flow to scam my way through some of these clay demos. And I thought it was genius because no matter did you what. you steal the other clays? Well, That's no, what I did. I, well, I was a horrible. I, mean, I am a horrible artist. Like I can't. I can Don't say that. You get better and better. So I'm like, you're only horrible right now, but you'll be. But I didn't great. care. It's not my jam. So, right. <laughs> um, so, but what I figured out was no matter what they would say, because they're supposed to be able to look at this clay and know, let's say, let's say I was supposed to do a clay demo to demonstrate. I have an understanding of a, of a man waiting at the bus stop. You should be able to look at what I've done in clay and go man waiting at bus stop. And then you turn it over. Cause I wrote down what it was. Now you turn it over. If that's the same, you pass. Right. And the, and the supervisor can't speak. They just have to look at you. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just look at the clay demo and see, follow through the label that everything has to be labeled. And if the supervisor gets it, turns over the overall, it's a label. Even the label is overall, turn it over. And it has to say exactly what, what the supervisor is, what you're doing the clay demo of. So if the supervisor didn't say it, then it's a flunk. Right. You have to figure out how to communicate it through clay without talking, basically. So I, 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 I no matter what, I would get flunked instantly. <laughs> on any clay demo I did. So You're I like so this looks like a clump of clay. <laughs> you look like you used this old shit and made a, totally, a head. Totally. I wouldn't even like. I. It means nothing. It's just a bunch of crap. And, <laughs> and, then, and then I would go, okay, ready, right? And they would come over and be like, uh, uh, dude. And uh, 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 what is it, lawn chair? I don't know. Flunk, right? Flunk. But now I make a couple other uh, better characters. Remember, don't forget, they want you through. The, they always give you a target that's ridiculous, right? They want you to get through that night. Yeah. So they you get sheets. points. Let's yeah. go. Check sheets. You got points for doing clay demos. Yeah. Student points. points. Pete, you would have to turn in your STP. Yep. So they yeah. want you to get through this, right? So they would always pass me on my second one because it was totally different than my first one. Which made them think, oh, he's got it now. Yeah. Right? No, because this still means nothing. But you're yeah. such a dick. You always pass me the second time, no matter what. Yeah, because you think I could do it good. I'm just so good that I just did it quick. Yeah, I, I got it now. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. And I never had a clue. And um, that was really difficult for me. But the most, the hardest thing in, in, for me was LRH tapes. Oh, Stay to awake. hear his voice. Oh, my God. I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. With, with, with. And, uh, after so I can't even. You know, I was like, with self I, was like, I was literally playing DJ with his voice on the. What do you call them? The um, what did they call them? The the, the headphone cases. Oh. They would call them something. They the tapes. No, they would say something. Decks. Anyway. Uh, did, you, did you hear selfless self do his LRH voice? No. It's so good. Oh it's wait, so does he go? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is it just that? He yeah. Has, he has the deep, no, goofy <laughs> voice. I mean, he does it perfect. Where because you have to sound like you're about to throw up to really do LRH correctly. Yeah. MD said every time I feel like I've heard about all about Scientology, there's more pointless things they had <laughs> people do. Like it's literally. This is what I remember about LRH. Okay, try, try, try getting through something like this. Okay, at any age. Uh, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> and it's those old reel to reels, you know, and click, boom, you know. Um, and then it's like the year uh, was 72, 383, 621, 414. And you're just, what the fuck is he hammering about? And then it's, and such and such, and the fourth galactic uh, armada. Uh, and, and all that lasted until the year 39, 61, 4, 7, 18, 47, 12. And we do have those dates correct. And you're just like, okay, he's insane. Literally, but for me, I would be like, what's BC? What's this? What's that? What's galaxy? What's so there? There's what like, about the words you couldn't he's understand. not ready for these. Yeah. You gotta keep going. Click. Yep. Click. Yeah. Click. Restart. Click. Oh know? my God. Oh, such a pain in the ass. Oh. And back me down. <laughs> so horrible. And, and you're like, he's just saying these ridiculous figures of 37 trillion years ago. And in a galaxy far away. Right, but he was like sounds a little bit like Star Wars y intro. But, but there was but never gross. a point. Right. Like, he would just draw blah, 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 blah. He would he there's no point and then he gets you off on some other tangent and then down and and the old ass is just you are just you. It's oh and you're just like, I guess that was an okay lecture. But you know I had another scam with tapes you might like. <laughs> you're like I'm almost learning the OT material. 
because I would feign. I mean, it's so hard to stay awake, but every like. No, it's so hard. I would be leaning. We do this a lot. I, with the dictionary open, so it yeah. looked like I would be frustrated right, right, looking right, up right. a word, but I'd, like a I'd be sleeping. <laughs> and then, uh, and the supervisor would be like, spot check? And I'd be like, oh, fast flow, thank you. <laughs> right. I was just trying to. Back to sleep. I would say I'm using shit in sentences when I'm snoring balls. I was, even, I, had, I was using something in sentences trying to get it because this is not the right definition, whatever. And then, but what I would do that really got me off the hook, I noticed. About every 15 minutes, I would just do some ridiculous guffaw, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so yeah. He's doing great. Vic, yeah, VGI they're like, oh, he really understands what they're laughing about. Flow, this dude has oh, my God, I did that so many times. That's so stupid. VGI. I can't believe I did that. I was doing that just because... I was like, oh, I want them. And sometimes I really felt like, oh, I'd hear the audience clap in the lecture. So then I would laugh because I would be like, oh, I must, I had to have gotten that. That must have been funny. Oof. Otherwise, I have a misunderstood word. So I don't want to not get the joke. So I Oof. have to laugh. Yeah. So that fast flow came in handy. <laughs> that fast flow came in handy. <laughs> Flat, fast flow students. I love it. See, um, so OTs are definitely uh, are definitely fast flow. Did you train here at all? In the no, nope. Just yeah. all of my friends and cadet friends that I grew I up did with. A bunch here. You did a bunch here. Yeah. Name? Can you quickly name all of the no. basic things you did? I don't know. Basic. I'm uh, purification rundown. Uh, but that one, like I said, didn't even come out till later. So. Oh, that was at uh, La Brea. Yeah. Here um, you did later stuff. I did. I did other stuff, and uh, you know, like, like child communication PTSSP course, PTSSP core, like different stuff. Yeah, yeah, just random, like random uh, like one PTSSP. or two week courses, or well, I mean, that was a, a that month was a or lengthy three. Course, so yeah, that was, that, was that takes a. Wall. Do you do the drills to the wall? Oh yeah, yeah. There's like, what do you do drills, and you literally do them to the wall or to somebody else or to me? Like I would be like, uh, oh, sh what? Let's practice it. Okay, <laughs> it'll be like this. It would really be like oh, that. God. It would be like so. We're sitting across the table, and then I say. A student is falling asleep on the course, and you and he's training to be a supervisor. A student is falling asleep on the course. What do you do? Which one are we doing? You're a supervisor. A student is falling asleep on the course. Oh, what do you do? When was the last time you were doing well? There you go. What was the last time you were doing well? When you were reading this book or this thing? When were you last feeling well? And then uh, right about here. So right just before, before that was a word you did not understand. understand. Pass. <laughs> but what did, what did you first say when you heard the upper end docks and you heard people screaming at ashtrays? Did you shit? I did those at the Ant Ranch. We oh. were doing those as children. Oh. We were yelling. Yeah. That's what Stand I was up. Yep. As fucking eight year olds. Sit down in that chair. And uh. moving people's bodies, moving adult bodies. In fact, if we could move an adult body, then we were even, we are definitely past because we are so strong that we could move a bigger, older man or a bigger, older woman body. And that would be uncomfortable because they would just do all kinds of weird shit, body grabbing, everything, because nothing matters. You're, uh. you're just a body, so it doesn't matter yeah, what you're doing. Matters. Yeah, nothing matters. Get your TRs in. And, and all these things are like, like uh, keeping Scientology working. A every single thing has a, it's a preemptive strike in Scientology. Mm -hmm. And keeping Scientology working is one of the most evil because that policy letter allows them and gives them the high moral ground to mistreat the shit out of you. Because only yeah. the tigers survive and even they have a hard time. And this is the first chance in trillions of years that you've had to go free. And so don't fuck it up. And we don't want to hear you crying over spilled milk. I know you're nine and this person's talking about, you know, doing horrific shit. But yeah, you're banning gear. It's the wrong gear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, everything has ulterior mode. Like it's never what it, 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 you would think it's supposed to, if it says it's about this, then you know, it's not that. Right. Like, and even things with like, Oh, we're going to help your kids. No, we're going to find out what the fuck your kids don't want to tell us. And we're going to use that against them. It's not help you with this problem. Oh no. It's we're going to investigate you. And then you're going to either continue doing that. And we're going to watch you and, and abuse you mm -hmm. and then, or you're going to do it yourself, but we're going to make sure you're doing it. And the other thing I saw as a kid, too, because black and white is the one good thing about being youthful. There wasn't all this gray area where I had to tread water. I mean, things were obvious to me. Like, I, I'm like, why would you if, you, if you, if you did TRs for 20 years, okay, 
Why is my supervisor and everyone I see them? Why are they all screaming? And why are they other? yelling? They're why the is everybody worst. angry as fuck as at, at everybody? Yes. Yeah. Because they think it's okay. Um, head on a pipe. What is it? If Joe has a black eye and an ups. Oh, if Joe at the first pinprick, Joe would have a black eye. It's in the ethics handling. Like in an organization that's upset, it's okay to yell at if it's like in an upset group, you don't do that here. So you're like yeah. giving Joe a black eye. You're telling him, you know, fuck off. We're an upset group. You get out of here. So everybody's yelling at everybody. Yeah, that bitch. You're all out at that. Bitch. <laughs> and, 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 uh, Give him a black eye. Yeah, you, you're, you're actually made. Uh, they make you right for treating other people like shit in the name of Scientology. So, yeah, you get, you, know, you get, you they get They want you to be promotion. unreasonable, just like North Korea or Iraq. Yeah. Unreasonable. Now, don't let anything sense? sway your already permanent robotic decision. <laughs> That's what unreasonable is yeah. in Scientology world. Do not let me sway from my permanent solid beliefs. Right. So I would be, uh, um, I'm like, I can't be like that to people. The greater good you know? of KSW is so evil. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, you can leave the Sea Org with your wife. We can help you. The SBTV community is here to help you. Real help has nothing to do with Scientology. Yep. Did you see what I, my chalk yesterday? Yes, I did. That okay. was awesome. That's Very the kind good. of thing I want these people to. We need to, to do some hear. more right here in this beautiful uh, sunlight. Guys, yeah. look, look at our, our golden, uh, what do you call this? Canvas. Blank right. canvas. <laughs> okay, well, um, do shall we sit and do chalk and stuff together? Okay. I and then we can in. keep talking. Oh, look, there's more people down here, guys. So in I'm going to basically keep it. Oh, good. I'm going to keep it. Um, well, I'm sure DOA has some chalk. And I have some chalk. Oh, yeah, but it's in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep hanging. and uh, Right, Eric? You're going to keep hanging yeah. out with me yeah. while we protest slash audit slash interview you slash walk? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> It's Tori Magoo. Hi, Tori. Yeah, Tori's trying to focus. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why that was so important. Tell us. I'm not on, on camera, baby. Oh, tell <laughs> us. Hi. I thought you were on. No, I thought you were on. No, I'm on DOA. Oh, he's out here. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> no, he's up there. Oh. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he live? Hello. Oh, honey, what is this? Your guys' uh, snack, knickknack patio? This is just criminal behavior. Hi, Tori. Do you need help? I'm going to stop all the traffic. Everybody, stop. There's a major SP walking across the street. Please give her the right of way. She needs all the time in the fucking world because she was never given that. <laughs> Look, guys, here's your favorite spot. Oh, yeah? What was wild? Court case. Yeah, we went to Josiah. We went to Josiah to make sure Josiah and Patrick Perry are claiming these false charges on him. It went great. The lawyer, I, I spoke to the lawyer, too, and really put in, like, hey, to hit Josiah's lawyer and was like, uh, anyways, long story short, she kind of got it like deeper right in that even that moment, went back in, made sure he's only allowed to not be around the testing center for like 100 feet and the blue building until they go to, to the next court cases, which is June 26th. Right. So that's perfect. And that's birthday. yeah. A day before your birthday. Oh, the guys. So it's gotta be good luck. Did you get my message? No. I, I texted you back. Oh, thank you. I thought that's why you were kind of here. Cause I said, I will be at big blue at two, two, two. No, no, no. You I, have to look I, at I your phone. You look at your text and you're going to be like, right. Oh, it's there. She's right. She's not a liar. I know. Look at her perm. Yes. They love the purple. Do I have purple? No, not today. Not today. Just my mood. <laughs> um, your text messages to see if I'm lying. I texted you like a while ago. I like this. I like your pop colors, like turquoise, or is this teal? What do you call this? Teal, purples. 
I like that. You're hearing they're very peacocky, like peacocky. I, know, so I love that. Purple. Let me see if I got a text. Oh, look at cute. Yeah, the blend of the pink and the. I, I like that. All right, that. there you are. See, what did I say? Uh huh. We are good. We are good. And I've been really busy, but also doing fun therapy and healing and feeling joyful and giving myself time and definitely protesting. I'll be there at the blue this afternoon, 2:22. See. Oh, <laughs> and that's why I was like, oh, Tori. Okay, good. Perfect time. Good job, guys. Good job. And I've been interviewing Eric about his story and just being a child in Scientology and here and having to do courses earlier before when I was when before I was born or when I was born. He was at the Celebrity Center on La Brea. Oh, like as there. a child there. I was probably there when he was there. Sorry, um, Tori was there at the Celebrity Center when you were a child. What year were you there? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, 79, 80, 81. Well, I was there from I there to when I moved to the... I was there. 78, I was there. 79, we moved to Clearwater for two years. Oh, okay. And then came back because it was awful. And then 86, I knew, right, La Brea was back on Celebrity Center? It was no, still, it, or did they, they move? Moved, they moved to the manor, and then I was auditing M1 on the on the fire escapes. Okay. That's where I met my husband at the manor. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. See? Isn't this crazy? crazy. <laughs> you have? I, I didn't know there was a movement when I first saw her videos. I thought there you were wasn't. just one person. There wasn't. It well, was no, just, I, was I like, mean, this, the, this <laughs> movement only started, <laughs> this movement only started like six months ago, guys. Yeah. That's the truth. Like, yeah. that's the truth. Yeah, so, she's but she's been, been doing people. videos. And, a lot of people. No, a lot I said people. this movement, just yeah. this but recent watched, like, movement of streaming. Of videos, I'm not talking about else. protesting. I'm, I'm saying this I'm movement of the internet and streaming. I that and it's been pulling people like Tory, people who have been doing this shit, protesting for a very long time. I Not just being like, oh, I, I, yeah, saw, I, I never saw anyone do what you were doing. I'm like, oh, shit. yeah, I was definitely like, like she like, must be getting in some I'm shit for this. Yeah, they were flattening my tires, breaking in my house, just my computer. You, know, they, you name it, yeah, they, they've okay. done it. And I'm like, I've made a, a literal protest. I'm in a a police report on everything. Wow. So, and I told them, I said, look, it's fair yeah, game, so it's like gaslighting, so I can't yeah. prove it. But, you know, I was so damn proud of turtle her. off your ceramic turtle, turtle. Yeah. One leg. I just thought you had <laughs> balls the size of grapefruits. I never thought anyone would do what you were doing on a, on a YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could almost imagine what you were doing six to seven years prior. Yeah. That's about the most I could. I'm like, she's doing this on YouTube. Well, it started on, with Anonymous in 2008. Oh, okay. I didn't know anything Mark about Brunker this. Mark Brunker showed up at my house, and Anonymous had announced that they were going to pick it, and we picked it that day. And he brought a, a um, webcam, and he said, this is from Anonymous. And I said, what am I going to do with that? He goes, well, we're going to start a YouTube site. And I said, what am I going to do with the YouTube site? And he said, so we're going to make a video. Magoo has a YouTube site. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That's great. I know, and it was so so yeah, fitting that last you. night was his first, my first okay, interview. You know, I've been trying to interview people for four cool. years. Yeah, and no one will teach me how to do it. Mm -hmm. But now the software's <laughs> caught up to where it's really. Yeah, hard. it's not as hard. You yeah. you unplug this wire, plug this, and now it's just like an app, and like okay, here's the site. Yeah. Here's the thing for yeah. The so I interviewed Mark Bucker. So it was wow. just so fitting. Yeah. You know, that he started my YouTube site and he was the first person I interviewed. That's awesome. I was, and you know what blew me away too is you were like, I, I, I'm like either she's insane or she's the coolest person ever because you were like in a good mood. Right. And I'm like, this is amazing. I would be scared to death or, or nervous or, or manic or, and you're just chill and smiling and you're like. You Are know, you talking about Easter? Or when? Just every, oh, just in I general. Thirty of these. <laughs> yeah, the videos. Before I, yep. way before I ever knew there was anyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. I'm just like, she's in a great mood. That was one of my she's people chill, I was watching. She's relaxed. I'm like, how is she doing this? Yeah. yeah. I had um, <laughs> academics fly in to interview me for that very reason. They said we've never met anyone who's left the cult who's as happy as you are. Yeah. And relaxed and just. 
I've gotten that a bunch too. I'm like, that's so I love great. that. I love that hearing that. I'm like, oh, good. I'm happy. Yeah. I remind myself, oh, wait, I am happy. Oh, yeah. I I'm like, I'm forgetting that this yeah. is happiness. <laughs> I know, but the one friend of mine, did you ever know Robert Von Young? He wrote Freedom Magazine. He was an author. Sounds familiar. Anyway, long time ago, but mm -hmm. he called me every night and he was when I escaped out. And I said, what is the deal with you? You know, it's just like I didn't get it. He goes, Tori, a lot of these people leave, but then they go back in. Oh, and I said, okay, yeah. listen to me carefully. Saying to me, Tori, having fought them for 30 years to take medicine for epilepsy, yeah. is like telling a Jew who worried that he can go back in the concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like, no. not ever, not ever. Yeah. And if I can stop anyone from doing it, I will. Yeah, I thought you had some kind of secret, like she doesn't want to be on the camera or something that you had. This. I'm like, how can she pull this off? Yeah, there. No, no, no. She doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm oh, just oh, shooting this way. Um, I'm like, she must have a video of Miscavige doing something because she's just too relaxed. <laughs> I was in a top secret mafia, so I know that he's. You know what I mean? I was like, go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> I love it. Give I love it. I opened up the phone of your And, you know, to uh, a certain Tori, extent. Tori, you want to sit? Uh, Solomon, whose chair is that? Well, is there another chair. one? If you will get the chair out of my car, then you can use that one. Yeah. Because she has bad hips. Let me sit down and then I'll give you the key. Can she oh, give you the, the key? Huh? Where's the car? Right oh, the duh. I'll do it. One of them is the middle one. You have to open the door it's, automatically. It's really old, and the bigger one. You I'll have do it. To, I have a no, van. No, you don't have to use the bigger one. Just a little. I have a van. Oh, old van. I know how this goes. Toyota. You know, you yeah. know how to lock it? Honda. Is it a Honda or a Toyota? I set my mom's car up. Before. Yeah, and you lock you want me it. To grab your food. I was gonna get a oh yeah. Are you gonna go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, good. Perfect. To lock it. You have to do both things. You have to open it and push down the thing. Yeah, and then you close it with the handle up. Right, and then I don't know. I just do. I'll make sure it's locked that's when I close it. it. Okay, and show. you just need a chair, right? Yeah, he's right in the front. Seat. Okay, I'll be back before you and know it. Okay. You going to Lapu tonight? I think so. Yeah. Okay, it's over there in the passenger seat. So big one. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm not. It's the pollen. I am not sick at all. I'm literally not sick at all. Okay, there's the chair. Did she say you had to lift this up? Yeah, so now you put it down. See, lock, boom. And then this side. She was just saying you have to manually do it, basically. Oh, I see. Bam. I thought some of these cars have automatics. Right? No, this is an older one. Human traffickers in the silver van. Okay, so, uh, We're just going to hide all the Scientology OTs. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine how you made this stuff palatable to people like me who are absolutely ruined Aww. by this place. Aww. But you made it palatable and actually entertaining. Aww. And I don't know how you guys do it, but it's like a soft, uh, like I just want to attack with knives, <laughs> get like a samurai, just go, Hi, how are you? you know, we're calm, totally. and you are I could tell they didn't control Yes. It. It was so Literally. Like Taxes, and then calling oh, cops and fired. I was, yep, yes. I always My dad's here. I was born and raised in this as a kid. We knew nothing. We knew. Mine's over here. But yes, thank you for your, that energy literally is exactly what the whole neighborhood in the world feels. And they're not allowed to feel it or say it because Scientology is so bullying and they will corrupt or kill anybody to, or silence them. Yes. I mean, I don't think that size or age has anything. It's, it's him, but I agree with you. Your anger is very valid. He's very, it's very valid. Yeah, she's, yeah. 
So we're here protesting against it all, filming every that. step and everything they do. So, yeah, A.A. Yeah, Ron, I'm growing love, up in Scientology. Yeah, we like can't put her on camera, A.A. Ron, but you got a fan. You got a fan who who agrees. A, yeah. he's, he's he'll watch this. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, that's what all. I can't be on camera because like no, I'm you're not. not. Okay. It's on me. I don't even have pictures of me. No, it's yeah, on me. I'm not on camera. Either. If I'm people like, don't want to be on camera, then that's fine. It's more we're literally auditing Scientology and the Sea Org members and the vans going back and forth because they won't let them walk in between buildings because they're not allowed to be seen in public. So they carry them from one building in these vans, you see? Oh, yeah. And it yeah. goes to the parking lot, and then they can leave from the parking lot out of their personal cars because they don't want us filming them. What and I'm it's like, we're calling you out. Yeah. Is, so, like, Right past this building, yeah. there's like an apartment building yeah. that's owned supposedly by like a sock because I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember his name. This was a while ago. By a Scientologist? By a Scientologist. Yeah. Most and of I, them are around here. The reason why I noticed it was one day I was walking by and I saw a bunch of like the weird like men in black suit yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Dressing like, like they're going in, in there, or... but it also looks like it's housing yeah. them when yeah. they're here or something but it's that it's not this one but it's, it's like a yeah a that's their building. it's also where they do a lot of their big red uh, deals for what they call it registrar they pull in money they're demanding money out of parishioners that have a lot of money so they do their quiet back high-end you know like international this. measures all in the back yeah smy they call it smy or asi so fucking yeah weird. They all have hidden groups that are the same thing. They all work and do the same thing. They, Scientology is the same crap. Whether you call it a different name or not, it's still the same abuse. You can. It's easy to see. I feel like, I mean, I don't know. I think it's- We've been out here every, uh, almost every day. If it's not us, it's other people. Like there's always somebody out here now putting out this word. Like we just, I was just doing an interview with Eric Rader who just, um, is out his whole family passed away in 2022 and now he was like oh my god there's a community he was watching yeah. a, a, a rons a and then uh and he didn't realize there's a community here in los angeles doing this so he showed up like three weeks ago a month That's ago so and now crazy. i was just interviewing him about it all but just seeing our connections of his life in it and my life in it and just the same you know well i remember in the 90s like they use it, you know, they probably still do. They have those really long personality tests. Yeah, 200 questions. Oh, they, like, that's, no, I that's, had they tried, do. attempted to do multiple times, <laughs> but I was like, this shit, no. No. I can't focus yeah. that long. Yeah. But it's a really good way to sort of suss out people just in that to one control little them, though. step. Just in that step. To see yeah, 100%. if they can even finish the fucking thing. Yeah. I don't know. I... Colts just won't have me. Colts, they won't have, have me tried. either. They won't have me either. Can When's your birthday? March 20th. March 20th. So you I'm just have a happy birthday. On the cusp. My mom's birthday is March 19th. Oh, so she's still in Pisces. Yeah, and she's still in Sea Org, Scientology. Oh. <laughs> um, I just, yeah. It's just like, how can any religious, in, like, because te technically they're going to be a religion soon. They already are because they, they already are. That's how they get their mark. text. No, no, no. Well, That's... for like the definition. Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah, legally, really? but for like the definition for a cult to become a religion, it's like a hundred years. So, like, okay. the well, Mormons were a cult up to a certain point, which actually reminds me a lot of Scientology. Yeah, they're very. They have similar it's tactics. Same, like, I remember one time, I my friend who was uh, she did art gallery reviews and she took me to an art gallery like an opening and it was the wildest thing because i walked in and everybody was smiling and like not vibing like normal art openings yeah it's like, where the fuck am i and it turned out of course i was like surrounded by like these Scientologists. Frozen grin Scientologists. Yep. Frozen Whoa. grin Scientologists. Anyway. <laughs> that so, absolutely describes the Scientologists. Like, I and especially being right. at an art show or, yeah. Vibe me out. Gross. Makes me feel like Gross. I'm at an art opening. Literally. Okay. Yeah. Gross. So, 
I, I appreciate you. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Anna. Anna Lara. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Two A's. Yes, I love that. A Ron. A A Ron. Lana Lara. Thank you so much. We'll be out here a bunch. Yes, we're all on YouTube. We're streaming on our YouTube channels. SPTV. If you look up SPTV. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. LA to Tampa, I became an activist because of what they did to me. Wow. From LA, LA, I remember my own. Wow. That's why my husband was in Chicago, always in Chicago. You know, the vice president was in LA. You know, it's just unbelievable. But they proved to me all information. Then I suggest that you watch this from the start. Oh, you guys missed it when, um, when the camera crew was there and the COA was protesting. And they came out. They came out. Why did she my socks? <laughs> Are we allowed to see the socks? Yeah, it's just that I don't really do it. No, no, no. It's okay. Ants, that's awesome. <laughs> I have bought them for the COA, but they came so small. And I'm nah. like, oh, fuck it. I'll rock them. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. You're grounded. <laughs> You're part of the ground. If you sat in the so in the socks, people, I mean, in the grass, people might oh. think, where's her, where'd her feet go? I used to play. <laughs> this is, you know, I remember, we used to play in the dirt. My dad said a clean kid was an unhealthy kid. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, I played a lot in the dirt. The dirtier and sweatier you were, the better. Wow. You were healthier. So we used to take off to the mountain. Yeah. Well, yeah, but not not cabin man. Get dirty. Bougie. Yeah. Uh, we're talking. No, go in a tent. Let's yeah, go. Boom. Not even tent. Just lay was, down the rug. Lay down the rug. <laughs> oh, I love seeing how we go hunting. He right. would hunt for deer. Yep. Um, and oh, see all kinds of nature. Oh, he, just being yeah, out there, the night, brrr, all the party, things. Yeah. One time and then it's all quiet. Walking up. Wanted me to see a rabbit. 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 But the rabbit was too cute, so I started crying. And I'm like, don't shoot the rabbit. Now, the, so my the dad's most friend of the hide and the went and got the rabbit and gave it to me as a pet. Incredible. But I was, even back then, I was like, oh, rabbit. I was yeah, like, take you're it taking him away from me. Were you like, oh, are you be dead? Yeah, so when they were nothing, I I'm going to go, go. Uh, get uh, water and, uh, and get um, lunch. There are some. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to walk up. Okay, you're going to go and come back? Yeah. Okay, guys, Eric's taking a quick break. He'll be back on the Lara <laughs> FM show. Yeah, they, uh, Thank you. I was going to, wasn't I telling you I was going to get you on? There was somebody I was going to get. A, did you get one? No. Oh, you have one or no? I just have a selfie stick. Oh, you need to get like a good tripod. I need yeah. a gimbal. I need a gimbal. Yeah. Yeah, we both need gimbals, and I need a tripod. That's what I need, something like that. That, Does that go long? Yeah. Look, you open this up. I mean, where it can be really tall. Mm -hmm. Pop, and then, oops, pop, and then you pull this up. Oh, yeah, see, that's what I need. And you said you could bring me one. Yeah, well, I'm going to buy it for you on on, on, my, on Amazon. No, if you have it, I'll buy it. It's on Amazon. Just look for the one. Ew. Innocent or not. <laughs> I got a little thing on me. Um, it's the one that says 1999. It's not a big. Yeah, don't go for the expensive one. <laughs> I get I have plant allergy, which I'm totally okay with. The no, I said the plant allergy. I probably just need, you know. No, it's right here. Yeah. yeah I know. Thank you. Well, I did. It's uh, NB Media. Uh, okay. I was in the area. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to Chick-fil-A. Uh, I know. I'm at McDonald's. Hey, I love it. Thank, Thank you for coming up. I didn't know the area. We're going to do Midnight with Magoo. I go into Midnight with Magoo. Midnight with Magoo. Okay, I need to plug this in. Yes, everybody hit the like button so you can feel wonderful. 
you feel, oh, I achieved one thing today. <laughs> I hit the like button. Yeah. Okay, let me make sure I'm charging my phone. Okay, phone is charging. Laura, you need to help Tori to link her Amazon wish list properly. Guys, I need to do my own crap. We all need to do our own crap. I have not even done that for myself. So my wish list is not proper? Yeah, what's up with your wish list? Somebody's saying something. She's saying, <laughs> hello. Uh, she's saying Laura, uh, to link her Amazon wish list properly. Do you have a website? Is your Amazon wish, is it linked to your YouTube? Okay. Did you always set that up? I don't think so. I know. I think I my moderator. Oh, okay. So we probably just need to fix it. We always started the monetization. Oh, to monetizing? Yeah. And she's trying to finish it, but she needs to know what he did. For monetizing? Yeah, it's just a few steps. You have to wait. Oh, do you need a link? Maybe because there was an issue with your monetization, right? You monetizing, you would have to call YouTube or something. There was something like that. So maybe the. Well, you would have to fix. What am I looking for? Yeah. We don't. He did try, but there's something with your account. It's probably just stuck to another year old account or something, you know, so you just have to call and figure it out. Call, call whatever number somebody. I don't know. You're literally asking the blind, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> Eric went to don't hurt people, especially get them back. He said it's better you drown yourself than hurt a kid. Who said that? Love your neighbor as yourself. Don't go to heaven. Don't you know. in heaven. Don't so. Okay, Johnny. We were citing some some scrolls. Okay, I'm gonna go up and I didn't even say hi to DOA. Where did he go? Is he He's still up there? Oh, he is. Is it really? <laughs> I don't think he'd be all the way over there if it wasn't. That's true. I don't know where he is. I think he's around the corner. Maybe he's in AO. DOA went that way. Go do an interview. And he didn't want it. He caught one. Nice. Now we both want to prove that DOA? What did he bring him? This McDonald's? Burger King. I didn't know. I, I kept asking people and they said get him a cheeseburger. That's really nice. That's nice. It was what? Yeah. Prices have gone up. Yeah. I was like, for a cheeseburger and a Good lord. That's a good Hell yeah, Laura. Oh, yeah, I'm right under the Scientology set. Here's T-shirt. Z-News. Z-News. That is funny. Someone said it's a funny sign. I should get you one of these shirts. Because your website. Or your friends. You know, the Z-News stuff. Smoke my joint in the sunlight in front of the Scientology building. Show some true freedom. Hi, Super Pup. <laughs> you guys are so funny. It's always 420 somewhere, right, guys? Free 
freedom. Freedom, guys, freedom. Hi, Dreamscape. Oh, I forgot I had these little cute butterfly, butterfly clips in my hair. Maybe I should take them out. There, Baba, too. That was for you. It's a cold. <laughs> As I'm choking on my weed. It's a <laughs> Here's one, one butterfly. No. Danny, I am not a hero. Everybody hashtag Danny, hashtag Danny is a hero. <laughs> okay, got my scrap. See, see what happens when I take out the umbrellas? I, I get a little more scraggly. <laughs> umbrellas, the butterflies. I get more of an umbrella hair. Wild. <coughs> okay, freedom guys, freedom. Speaking of freedom, <laughs> Uber Eats. Uber Eats. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here. I just don't want to be. I'm just gonna put this on the table while I finish my J. Do you smoke weed? Oh hell yeah. He does, guys. All the way to get what? That's my chips and fries with tuna and I avocado. Oh, I love, I actually will have one of those. I like real, I like real fruit. <laughs> I like organic real fruit. Now that I'm not in Scientology anymore, I would like my organic fruit. Charging my phone as well, guys. And maybe I should stand right here so that the sun isn't directly on me. So how did you like that interview, guys, with Eric? Isn't he cool? Did all of you guys go and subscribe? Eric, what's your channel again? Uh, <laughs> uh, BS Incinerator. BS Incinerator. Eric Rader, he's saying it. So it's Eric Rader, um, BS sign, BS incinerator. Well, that's why, that's why I put on my banner, uh, translating and protesting my garbage, because I protest two, three days. Finish it. Okay. It's a T that's gonna make you happy. Just kidding. Two, three days I would, protest and then I would <coughs> go over <coughs> I would go over I got I actually got a vape. Keep it. It's really strong. This is nice. <laughs> I got a, um and then I would go over the beginning <coughs> basically from like the concourse to through M1. I'll take it through Ned, but <coughs> I wanted to answer for the first time in my life for everyone who ever asked me what how did you get sucked into this and then once you got so I go, how, why did you stay? And it's like, you can't answer that in two sentences. So I showed everybody the glue, the regiments and routines that allow you to do things you don't want to do and to do things to others you don't, they don't want done to them and, and how you can, um, and how everything's a preemptive strike from LRH 
to the public through M1 co-audit. Because even then, like, remember after student half when you're like, okay, the only reason to give up a study is an MU. But then in M1, the only reason to give up Scientology is MUs yeah, and OWs. See, if there's a camera open, somebody I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's why I got oh, shit. You know it's okay. Yeah. I explain it all. <laughs> I, I explain it in layman's terms. So method one um, co-audit I did. It's a course. A uh, co-audit is where you would audit me and I'd audit you. Yeah. And um, uh, you learn word clearing, word clearing, and uh, oh. you recover. The idea is to recover your education. That's the idea of M1 co audit. Is to M1 co audit the end phenomena is recovering your education. Yeah, that's the point. Of course, you wouldn't remember because none of that occurs. Right, you know. It's just, Can I curl this up? Bogus, but everything is, is a preemptive strike anyway to take your ability to point fingers away from anyone but yourself. And that's why I call it the Truman Show. The, the what? The Truman Show. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I fell asleep. Well, watch it again because it's totally Scientology and more people. Yeah, understand Scientology because of that example. And it's one sentence. Watch the Truman Show. Martin, what? Water. I'm trying, but I can't hear them both at the same time, guys. Half an hour to an hour discussion from one sentence, and he thought it was great. Okay. Because people get it. Well, yeah. I, I did it all. Um, you know, it took me yeah, eight hours. Can we know, sit somewhere where it's easy to film you both? Like, can oh. you both sit in the table? Because yeah. I want them to hear what you're both saying, but I can't. It's looking up here. Uh, and I, I don't know. If can you guys hear them? Can you hear Tori and hello, hello, Eric hello. when they're talking? Because like, it's really important what they're talking hello, about. Hello, hello. I want you guys to hear it. Where should I be? Um, here. So let's test it. See if they can hear me. Yeah. Is this where you want me to sit? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just put mine up. Yeah. Put so yours on this side. Okay. You got this angle. Where can I put mine? Right in your hands. Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were happy right there. That's why I was yeah. saying. So you could put it on the table. You could put it right here. Look, or or even literally look, sorry. go like this. I know, but then they're just. No. Oh, they're seeing no. the back. No, so flip it. Or turn it the other way. No, yeah, flip it so you can see the, the comments. Yep, there you go. Wait, leave it. Hold on. Boom. Boom. There you go. So now you go like this. Hi, chat. Hi, Tori's chat. It's Laura FM. And then look, Tori, we can hear what you're saying. And you don't have to even go here. I want them to see more. No. Right, guys? Can you hear Tori? We can hear you. They said, but tell her again. Okay, good. And how do you see your live chat? There you go. See? Tori, yay. Hear them fine. See, and you don't have to hold it up. Thank you. Okay, now I'm over here. Hi, guys. See, we, you just you have nice to come live in my house. I mean, last night I did, uh, yesterday with Bunker, we were trying to figure something out. And somebody said, we need Laura and Neo in here. Yes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we work well together. Sometimes? And Yeah. I mean, you and me? All of us. Actually, we are so funny together. We work all the time together. Good. I'm supposed to. I, I'm supposed to. We had a little. A I'm little trying to get my thumbnail right frassle. here. Here you go, guys. There's no frazzle. Growth is growth. I know, but I'm just saying it was part of the growth. Exactly. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. I don't know what the thumbnail thing is. I don't know. When you put a little thumbnail before your picture, when so when people see what video is it, you got to pick a little thumbnail that they can go. Oh, I remember this one. Oh. 
so you can like it's your like you would put your what you're wearing or then you'll know it's this episode just so or whatever or something that's like come something that's fun so that it grabs people's attention to come so i'm like ah Sadar is a call oh, and then fun. that looks like a thumbnail but then you can screenshot anytime or you can just take it later yeah. from your youtube exactly you you see you can the chat want, can help you the Tori chat loves teach helping me everything so i'm the last one to learn. Ah! <laughs> I barely know anything. That was the funniest thing. Did you see, did you by any chance watch any of the Clearwater stuff? When you're in people's chat, you have to read What? Did you watch any of the Clearwater party? Oh, yeah, for did sure. Did you see what Aaron said to Mark Bunker about me? Uh, no. <laughs> he, Mark Bunker has helped me for 24 years. Yeah. You know, he, as long as I've been out, he's been helping me with my computer. Yeah, they're, they're and, I, and you know I'm like yeah. kindergarten level, right? Yeah. So, Aaron says, can you believe Tori McGrew beat you at live streaming? <laughs> and they, we all laugh. Oh, my laugh. God, that's hilarious. Because Mark, Mark Bunker should be doing that. He did it the next day. Hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> so, he's on. I think I, I think I did follow him. I think I remember that. Yeah. I work and stuff day. sometimes. Sorry guys, I'm getting my food ready. I'm gonna move this over here. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys should do another one. We will have nine deaths. The and you should invite the youngies. We didn't dress too. We didn't just dress The newbies. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you should invite like me with you and Bunker and stuff. So, so that we can. I don't know. I just have a lot of clear water questions and like, like Bob Vincent and uh, me being on the Lisa McPherson case. Oh, thank you. You were on the case? I was one of the messenger. I was on the cost special project. Yeah. I think the chat is pretty cool. Yeah. 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 I was running all pink and not really. No. Because I was just a little child. Oh, yes. I'm not being a white And I was, uh, you know, I'm starting to talk to him. Yeah. Eric, where are you sitting right there? Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get us. Okay, how about this? Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, I mean, we're getting, I mean, we're just having fun already doing that pretty much. When tragedy happens, I know someone. Yeah. Sometimes we can't find them. I love Okay. I'm trying to do some chocolate. I got to sit in the back. You know what? I 
wasn't even a Christmas. It was just there kind of uh, DOA had a meeting. I was close by. Yeah, you, you know, I think. But, I thought I was going to go out and get it. I said I thought I was going to get it. What kind of salad did you get? Chicken, cucumber, or something? Thank you. Believe it or not, I used to weigh 300 and 50 pounds. Nice. A lot of you ladies out there that. Oh my God, Why, how would I, I couldn't even conceive of this. Right. So, you know, and not that I have anything to say that anyone should understand, because it's all gobbledygook anyway. But, yeah, it is. You know, it's amazing. Uh, it really is. It's, it's like a People in the chat, literally the whole time, were like, wow, even for us never in, that are in the SBD community. Um, oh, yeah, you're... Um, they said that they still are learning stuff just from our conversation that we had. They're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, so that's even, these guys are the ones protesting and doing this every day, so it's perfect. Okay, they feel like you should back it up a bit. I wrote the uh, chalk over here yesterday okay. that says, because um, it's really hard to ignore if it keeps going, right? you know? And so it said, uh, uh, had enough. Oh, yeah. Right, and then I, I put oh, why, O W's, M U's, or mistreatment, disconnection, you know, uh, something else I put, and then you know, S P G V in the number, right? Because I want it to hit home. Like I think we have a, an, an amazing group of people doing what they're doing naturally, right? And you know, D O A and, and everybody, and, 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 and so many of these guys are so great at what they're doing. New people will never come in with these people doing what they're doing. It's fantastic. I think it's couldn't be done better. But I like to look at the eight out of ten of the people in here that they're they're just me and you and her. And so I'm trying to think, how would I reach them with what I'm doing? Because right. I know I wouldn't have, I wouldn't I run to you if you were screaming at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to run to you. But you know what I mean. Like you just, yeah. So we have to have it all, you know, because I think we've got to stop new people from coming in. But at the same time, to reach people who, you know, are under that spell, you, you really need the right thing because it's so easy to turn that personality on that Sometimes defends and ignores everything that you know is true because of these stupid drills. So, because um, I know that's what happened to me, like around protesters, even though I'm miserable, I would have defended Scientology to the hill. They used to send me out to handle the protesters. I saw one of those just the other day, and I'm like, what? I don't know what it was, 1980 or something? It was Magoo okay, Dancy in Boston. That was probably the beginning of that. That's what you saw. And it was well, right me now, trying to handle a, a guy. And it was, um, yeah, I think in the 80s or 90s. Okay. Might have been I the 90s. I think it was the 90s. Yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just went out and talked to people. Okay. See, that was my thing. And they'd leave. A lot of times, because they had the big, they had a leather Zenu.net sign. Leather. And I'm telling you, Scientology had a heart attack. This is before everybody, you know, before South Park and stuff like that. So people had done the, you know, deep diving. Deep diving. They hadn't exposed Zenu. And so now these guys come up with a leather 
all the way across the street, like the, that intersection, zenu.net. And so I'm out there. You know, they go on, what are your over, what are your, you know, Good just luck trying with to that, say, yeah. what are your bad deeds? Because Hubbard used to say, you know, just ask, do the murder technique if they won't tell you. You know, who did you murder? Right. Oh, so nice. these guys would come out. I that's where I met Mark Bunker was right on that corner, on Fourth of July. He showed up with a big, you know, one of those big camcorders, and Osa said, "Get rid of him. Just get him out of here, Tori. Get and, rid of him." <laughs> and he put this other. He, she, they put me with this guy from out England out. or Scotland, and he had like a very strong accent. And so Mark said, "What is your name?" And I said, "It's Margaret." No. You know, it's like these are really phony accents, but then I get ticked <coughs> off and I just start talking in my own. Voice. Yeah, yeah, you like, no, you did it. That's <laughs> funny. It's Margaret. What happened to Margaret? Yeah, right. Oh my, this is her assistant. But he's got the videos of it, so now that he's doing live streaming, he's gonna we're gonna do that one too. Because it's really funny. Everybody, there's some. You guys know. I the reason I bought uh, VOA some popcorn for sometimes when shit is hitting the fan. I can see him in there laughing. I can I can just fucking picture him eating popcorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Did it. you see when he had those uh, freeze dried skittles? I went looking for the skittles. <laughs> <Looks good. laughs> I did listening to Tori. Because story. I can't put these down. <laughs> yeah, Tori. I, again, the only reason I got McDonald's, the only reason I got McDonald's was because I thought I was on the Chick Fil A line. Oh, I got McDonald's over there. I've never been to Chick Fil A. <laughs> She'll and, take you to the limit. Uh, uh, really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm mixing commercials. You're right. Oh, so <laughs> mixing commercials. Chick Fil A. I'll take you to the limit. What is that's, that? Yeah, that's isn't that like a sports chalet? Sports chalet. Sports chalet. Sports chalet. Whatever. You guys are out here, and it's like, and then you, I told one person, and I told one people, and remember that what was it that Claire Carol commercial? And oh, I, I tell one, one person. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that I always think about when you guys are out here. <laughs> that's what I was telling you. You know, I always tell people, you don't need money. You don't need money. If you're sitting at home, talk to people. Oh, oh Lara. Mm -hmm. So, I have a, a client of mine mm -hmm. that from just talking. You know, just I didn't. I didn't know who the hell he was. Uh huh. So I have a very small business, as you can see, I can't really move anymore. Mm -hmm. And I got tired of being in healthcare for lots of people. So yeah. I took over my mom's cleaning business after she got severe Alzheimer's and couldn't do it anymore. So then, um, anyway, I, I'm cleaning a school. up in Santa Monica. The guy, <laughs> the guy owns, you know, a couple of businesses. We got the I need help cleaning, and I was like, oh, no, I might be slow, but I feel good, and, you know, talking. And it turns out that he was the owner, he was the co-owner of the place that I cleaned. He started talking about harm reduction. I'm a certified harm reduction specialist. I go out there, and, you know? Yeah. Knock down here, you go, boom, bring them back to life. Yeah. So, anywho, we started talking about Scientology. It's multiplied. That is here. You know, it was like, I met mean, Jessica. And he told me to call him. Mm -hmm. right? So and that we can kind of talk and, Chris, and see what it is that Chris you guys Did you ever meet him? And uh, yeah. that, uh, well, I was then, thinking, uh, and right and now, uh, uh, and I was hoping to leave over at South Central. Maybe I did. Okay. I just was, I met Chris. They don't pass out anything. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. So I was talking about the SPTV Foundation and he said, give me a call. Dan. I'll see what I can help with. Yeah. So oh. Oh, maybe I can call him and see if he's available. I was going to do it now, but yeah. Well, okay, well, you, if you, you want to go to the FCCB Foundation. Well, this is it. You know, I, he, he's a busy. You yeah, know, it was well, more of a uh, tell me what you need, let me know, I'll get what it. Did huh? what, you, what did he do? What did he do? He worked. He's 
a he's the owner of, of um, Solomon. Oh, Solomon. Solomon. That's Solomon. Yeah. He's the I owner of a party shop. Have a have a hard time keeping track. Yay! So he's like talking. And he's not like, like you mean like what he could do to help us over here. with financially financially we have to go to order. Right Did you go to like, the because I was putting together. We can donate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's a cold. Um, sorry. Yeah, they can go to the SPTV yeah, Foundation. He can literally call the number and say, hey, I want to, whatever it is. I know, I, okay. Yeah, I know that's not going to happen. So should I call them? Yeah, yeah, totally. They would love that. Yeah. My he statement. doesn't live out here. Oh, so he was yeah. leaving that day. And he just wants to find out how he can help you. You just. What he told me was, I love your energy. <laughs> I know you use it for whatever. Just tell me what you need. Yeah. And then he told me, and my partner out here will get it. I love that. So that's what I told you. You don't need money. All you need to do is go out to the front door and start talking to people about it. Yeah. I'm broke as they come. Yeah. But I got you somebody that can give a little bit of money, can give a little bit of, I don't know, whatever he can give. Maybe your friends could help out. Uh, you the posting bills right there. To give you guys a big one. Well, yeah, like that sign. Yeah. The billboard. You see that billboard that's yeah. ripped down? Yeah. He could buy and he could we could throw a, a SPTV Foundation billboard or something up there. I don't know. Very, uh, it got ripped down. It know. got ripped down. Uh, the yeah, one that I've was heard, donated for from filled. To, yeah, it's about and nothing's been up there since the so billboard. Right? Uh, the um, Phil Jones, right, guys? That's the same. Um, That's the billboard they ripped down. That Phil Jones, corner, right? Did the billboard? A block and a half away Phil Jones here. did the billboard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that they ripped down. They, they donated the money. Albert, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to him. He, yeah. yeah. He's actually yeah. one of my clients. Guy. <laughs> So we got his ear now. Um, I was telling him of the, of the kids that were being trafficked. Oh, no, that's my passion. You don't touch kids. Adults can make pretty much their own decisions, but you don't touch kids. Period. Dot. End of story. Yeah. Yeah, he's a creep. He hates me. And I don't like him. Everyone talks about Sebastian. You know, when people hate you to be, I don't under, I don't understand it. I've been hurt by a lot. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I could, I could hate a whole world if I, at this point. But when people hate you, like when you have that inner hate, when you see somebody, you're like, damn bitch, I just wanted to. Do you think that person cares? I'm sure as hell don't. Hate me all you want. You want to hate me? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And especially, they're supposed to be part of Scientology where they're, you know, it's like. Yeah. I'm talking like people in general. Hi, Rico. People in general, they just, um, they have this anger. And I get the anger. I know. Like the I, said, I have, the I I could, I have enough now. trauma to last me until a billion years, you know. And I wasn't even in Scientology. Just growing up where mm -hmm. I grew up. I tell people I was down the street raised somewhere. in Venice. I just saw him pop Barry out. Hill. Do you think he's on because a phone or an interview or something? I lived in Venice during all that time. Not quite sure. And I ended up working in Beverly Hills for over 25 years with some of the top specialists in the world. <laughs> and so, celebrity. Yeah, I'm going to get a gimbal, guys. You could be a celebrity. I could be talking like this. No, I'm the same because my dad was a celebrity. Yeah. So I was around it. It's just sort of like, it's nothing. It doesn't. You know, sometimes the like, like my dad said, it it really isn't the status; it's a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to get to know the person. Because some celebrities are really nice, you know, mm -hmm. just like some people. Are really oh, nice. I met one that when I talked to her, it was like, damn, she was like up to here, pregnant, paparazzi outside. She came in with her mom personally. I've met, um, I've met quite a few. Yeah, me too. Because they used to, at the Egyptians, they would show movies, and then they would have the stars of the movies come through Q&A. 
you know, some of these big, huge beauty influencers, my son, when we went to, my son is part of the LGBTQ community. What is it? He's gay. My son is gay. And we had gone to, um, what was it? Dreadcon. And there were all these huge, uh, you know, those beauty influencers at the time were real big. So we went to one of their chats, but they wouldn't let the kids talk to them. And my son was like, ah, oh, mom, you know, whatever, whatever. I said, follow me. Where are you going? I said, follow me. I said, we'll find them. We I was never in a Canadian North. Where they come. I got pictures. My I parents got, were. I got to chat with them. And they were in the I, Toronto you know, org, and my aunt is not. still... Uh, my aunt is still friends. in the, is, uh, you, the FSM. It wasn't my <laughs> Last I, I knew, I she was the FSM one. commanding officer of the uh, FSM field uh, staff member uh, of, can, of the Toronto uh, Canadian Army. Uh, okay. <laughs> I said, if I ever meet I spoke with you I'll be here typing, doing my business, and I hear a voice behind me, and my co-worker saying, hurry, hurry, go through, go through. <laughs> <laughs> Food was good, guys. And I turn around, and it's George Clooney from here to there, and he asked me, so where is it that you want me? All I heard was, oh, little bells, and this is me. But it wasn't his status, it was something about him. Yeah. In Toronto, can the Canadian or there's no action? Do you need anything out for me? No. The only mm. celebrity that has ever left me. Mm. Yeah. Taco, pasta, anyway. salad, Other yum. That, no. mm -hmm. Some of the biggest singers in the world, you know? but uh, very humble people, very humble people. But then again, you have those that are has been. And they think they're the world, and we're like, dude, I don't DOA know. acts yeah, like he's a celebrity. She took a bite. Is that okay? I said you said it would be fine. Yeah, it's fine. He said it's fine. I knew it. I saw the younger, beautiful you. Not that you're not beautiful now, but on uh, Mark Bunker, I saw it on Natalie's. She moved her mind. You're like OG. Like, you haven't been messing around. I love it. No, you gotta watch. Did you watch the whole video? No, I just you saw it short. I don't got time to watch all no, the way. No, but that one. That one's good. The Magoo Dancing Monsters. And that one with Bunker, where because we're giving a backstory. Oh, is that on his YouTube channel then? It's Tori. It, it, Tori's holding her microphone, guys. It's fine. It's on both of them. It's on both of them. Okay. Is it, did you just upload it just recently, or is that you haven't uploaded? We did it yesterday. Oh, you did yesterday. And I did my first interview. You know, I've been trying to learn the split screen. And so I did my first interview. Oh, that was your first Bunker. interview? Oh, I didn't and realize. Bunker oh. was the one who gave me the YouTube webcam oh, in nice. 2008. Good, good, good. So it was so, you know, it was really close to me. That, I love that you did your first interview with them. I know. Really? I know. Really cool. And it but, was really weird because it was just going to be a test. Right? Yeah, but where was the video of you? Back, back, however long ago that you was. You can just type in Google Magoo Dancing in Boston if you just want to oh, see that. Okay. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> he he looks like finish. he's going to go do it, guys. Let's yeah, see if, see if he follows through. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. That's all That's all DOA. They all say, <laughs> what did you guys say? Remember, Something about his hair. About for a minute. DOA hair looks like Bart's <laughs> sister from Simpsons. I love your hair. Maggie oh, Simpson. They were well behaved. They were warm. I don't fuck around. Here? 
I don't fuck around. Tell, I told them too. Yeah, good, good. Don't <laughs> don't <laughs> I think they saw that here earlier when I was wiring. Oh, okay. Let's not Daddy. talk about me and if I was breeding and if I had babies. Like, oh, shit. let's not do that. People, weirdos. Yeah. I'm not saying weirdo things. It's cute hair. <laughs> making me wrong. Tori, he's not That's talking funny. to you. Are you mom? He's not. Yeah, and making oh, me wrong is a Scientology oh, brainwashed grossness. Those are awesome. It took like three weeks for them to get here, and they're they're like this tiny. I'm not yeah. this fucker. <laughs> they're really cute. But I figured it matches my blouse. Uh, yeah. Tori took a bite. You don't care? I'm such a I know. I had to take a bite. Now. I was really hungry. I'm, I'm sorry. I ended up eating his bite. burger. He left, and I'm all like, okay, I'm hungry now. I'm very hungry. You want a bite? You want another bite? She's hungry. No, no. Hungry, girl? No, no. I had some of the French fries too. They're chips. I have some chips. Do you want I an apple? Do you want an apple? That's perfect. Did you get? You got some food? Apple. You bored? You he ate his apple. food. Uh, I'm eating yours now. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was supposed to get out of here. And, and... Sorry, I, I forgot I had the interview. I was supposed to have an interview <laughs> at noon. She thinks he's a celebrity, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, continue. Sorry. So mean to me. Just kidding. It's all I love, agree. guys. It's all love. That was a little. No, it's kind of, got sympathy. It's kind of like when you tease your you brother. I'm not that mean. <laughs> I was going to laugh. I was going to have some food here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just some bread in his throat. Well, well nobody's talking on Lucy. <laughs> and I think I brought you a drink. So there's a drink. DOA is oh, a yeah? moody cutie. Yeah. <laughs> Cabbage lemonade? But I don't think he really wants a lady right now. I yeah. I think mine is the burger one, so. I don't know. I have my coffee there, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. This is an abundance of food. Um, when you go back yeah. in your chat, you. you. you're going to see a lot of, um, yeah, go back to your chat. <laughs> I would want to go back. And, and listen to this. At Burger King, I order a burger and french fries, right? And he goes, okay, it's 10 49 And I said, so what if I get a special with a drink? He goes, that's seven dollars. So I go, all right, I'll get the drink. So I get the drink, and the key won't give me the change. Because now it evens out. <laughs> it doesn't even out. It evens out in your pocket. You got to hustle. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it evens out. <laughs> Do you believe that? I'm saying, I love your purple hair. Normally I have purple streaks in mine, oh. but I had to let it wash out. I love this table. Whoever got me this table, I'm sorry, I don't know who got me this table, but thank you, thank you, thank you. This table is awesome. My mom has a bad Alzheimer's, so purple is the color for Alzheimer's. Thank you, thank you for being there for Josiah. I didn't even know you were up there. They're like, oh, she's talking to the lawyer. I'm like, Laura's talking to the lawyer? Yeah, Laura, Laura's talking to the lawyer. The lawyer. Yep. I was like, uh uh, and she got a little moody with me. I went through this. And I said, I understand. My mom retired at eight. That was her business, the one that I do. Another one. And I told her, I'm here to protect your side, and I need you. And then she said, okay, I can't have everybody. And I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, everybody move, because I'm fucking saying I think they all went downstairs, right? You guys went downstairs after that? My husband and I did. And then I just was like, look, yeah. No, he needed that. He needed that so much, and then like the fact that getting it contempt for being yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was gonna get in trouble today. Right. No. That was what I was worried. No, they were fucking lying. What the they fuck she did with that money? Someone already made a clip of that on TikTok of them coming out saying they're fucking lying. First day he had just the cop come up and say that he's gotta leave, and they clipped over to you. It was actually really good. It um. It helped until Laura. maybe about Laura. Three, for three years until my brother. And Mock, I'm so glad I was there to see Mock's in there. Oh that's yeah, well you would have unbelievable. No one, no no one, one would have known. No one would have known, and that's why. Guys, so nobody would have fucking known. known. Yeah. I'm like Jesus. So, 
what? No, he's going after Leah. Can you, I don't understand the backstory of that. He has been a lawyer for Scientology and all of the deep, huge cases of Scientology. He's been one of the lawyers that get paid to do some sort of lawyering or being part of some big and small Scientology thing. Yeah. So Desire warranted that. Him coming out. Um, it, I have no idea if it was just Josiah. Um, they're trying, I think they were trying to scare him and they were trying, I think he showed up Can't to see to if they were going to actually, if Josiah would show up and if they're going to actually follow through. And because he did, and when he walked into the room, guys, Tori, guess who the F was at the fucking courthouse? Josiah's case. Moxon. Moxon. And so I was kind of looking at everybody come in, you know, it's just like such a small thing. So when the door opens, like, Aah! so you're like, okay, who is it? Seeing everybody go. And then like a little bit, and then Aah! opens and looked and I went, no. And he looked directly at me and I smiled. I was like, Moxon? I just, my mind he, went, He Moxon? knows you. He yeah. knows you because you ran all the paperwork. And I right? went, I just went like this and I, and I had to hold my tongue, let him sit down. And I was like, Josiah. I leave to Josiah. I was like, Fucking num- one of Scientology's number one lawyers is here. For and what reason? Gee, office. I wonder why. Number one office. But, but this is what's even the what's even better is the police have all said that Scientology has nothing to do with Josiah's case. Yep. Oh. Yep. We'll see about that. But what? what is their top lawyer doing at Josiah's case and criminal yeah. threats? Yep. And then leaving before oh, they even went. That wasn't even. Yeah, that was allegedly at his own home. They're saying it has nothing to do with the cop. But then the prosecutor used the false police calls of him having a gun as evidence of him being a nuisance to the Church of Scientology. And that's why there was a no contact order at at the the church. Because of the false police calls. He was illegally arrested three times. What? Well, he can get the recordings because of discovery. He might be the only person to get these recordings because they're not allowing to do FOIA requests or California, what is it, California Public Records Request, CBRR or whatever. Yep. I don't know what the acronym is. They don't know. It's a FOIA, yeah. It's a FOIA, but it's a state one at the state level. Yeah. And the the fire department is is doing it. That's why um, Zach. Has been able to get the nine the the, the nine one one calls for the fire department, but nothing for the police department. Mm-hmm. Is it also well, allegedly you can get it during discovery process in court, right? Or in a lawsuit. And it's always going to be there, right? Yeah. Five years from now, these calls will be on the record Maybe. somewhere. Like I my calls, count on. No, like my video was all deleted because they were clearing off uh, evidence yeah. for the month. Yeah. Now well, you first, gotta be you yeah. gotta get it. But now they kept your laptop count. for three years. Don't count oh, yeah, on they it. They can five. allegedly. Someone bought me another laptop, which I, they're awesome. Whoever did that. Whoever did that, yeah. My phone is my laptop. That's about it. Yeah, and Patrick Perry not showing up. Dude, they're going to drop this case. But. Was, that, was, was it an shot. actual, tr- was it the trial? Yeah, yeah, the guy, the fucking lawyer, his lawyer said, uh, the victim, the victim is not in the room. He's not here. What does that mean? The victim, the victim is Patrick, Patrick Perry. Perry is not a victim. Patrick Perry. Patrick yeah, Perry. Patrick Perry is a victim. And he didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That how was did... after he attacked and said he was going to kill Aaron. And how, and how trying to victim? charge and trying to charge Josiah and, for fake felony charges. Yeah. Felony. Cause, He's cause, facing three to five years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't show up. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick, we'll see. Listening. He told me that. They locked this friend up for a year, and then he was proven innocent until like a year of your life taken away. That's what he said. Yeah, it's true. You know, LAPD they started with the Rodney King. You guys saw it. Rodney King started all these uh, film the police. Literally, it's somebody up. said the fact that Patrick Perry didn't show up, the case should have been closed for wasting all of our fucking time. The judge was like that serious, like. Allegedly. Well, Moxon is awful. Mox Scientology. He tried to arrest me. They're rid of their tax status. Huh? Really? Not yeah, yeah, as a cult. Intervention. Asuna Secta. Yes. It's, it's cooler on this side. 
Scientology is a sect. Retirense de aquí. Se llevan a sus hijos. Good girl. Good girl. No more. Español. You know, my dad wouldn't let us speak English at home. He would say uh, oh, Spanish at home, English in school. Oh, in streets? Yeah. I mean, oh, my God. Oh, man. That's Wait, so crazy. Yeah, it's crazy talking about a small world and, like, yeah, like, and just seeing Sheets being like, "Are you joking?" <laughs> like, I was like, "Oh, no, that's real." Know he was a Scientologist. Yeah, that was what like I really liked about. Yeah, that it took a minute right. for him for that to even kick in. Okay. No, this is last night. The, my biggest troll or nemesis is <laughs> somebody who Streets doesn't like either, <laughs> oh, and knows him from there. Ask there. Chat what, where he's at. Ask Chat where he's no, at. No, we he's don't in do recovery. That. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's. So he's, you're saying. Allegedly, he was having a testicular augmentation. Who was? Wizzy. Oh, <laughs> Who was? Wizzy, his, his troll. <laughs> his pet troll. This is the one that's still trolling him. Yeah. I troll him. I keep him as a pet. <laughs> it's bad. I, he, he, he keeps coming back. He knows he's the pet. Like, it's a weird interaction you know i and and you know i'm pretty respectful in the chat i normally don't talk shit and you know i was trying to ask him a couple of questions so can you open the mic i want to get arrested on this Woo. And, you'll be a uh, block, sidewalk blocker the worst thing in the la right now yeah huh. never mind when i got attacked for the, this guy and i told this on stream already this guy i heard yelling outside of my house and this guy was uh, had a girl by the head, slamming her on my on the on the my driveway. So I went. Oh, I, I can't hear that the stuff. Right now. The girl is bloody all over. I can't hear so that. It's too much. Oh, it's sunlight. When's your birthday, Lara? West Coast Fancy Nancy, February twelfth. <laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Everybody loved the interview. Cool. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. How's your chat? Um. How's it going, everybody? Isn't he awesome? They love talking to you. They love hearing stories. It's uh, a whole different insight. It's a whole different. It's like a different. It's like a different thing. You know, and that makes sense too. Oops, when you go, oh. <laughs> go through all the crap we have, how are two people going to see it exactly the same? But I love how we all have things that are very similar at times. Yeah, and uh, it makes me feel so much better knowing it's not just me. You know? Yeah, not in a weird way. Yeah, but yeah. it's like somebody can relate, and you're just going, okay. Yeah, I, it's not me just having these weird things or even emotional things. Not a lot of emotional clarity i'm going oh and the moment i'm like like realize like i kind of just feel the feeling and everything i'm like okay that's all i needed was to finally just be able to cry totally it's so crazy and then i'm like all right tomorrow will be better tomorrow will be a different day and, and this place makes you so used to having to be right you know otherwise you're in trouble. oh yeah uh, that's i talk about that all the you're time you're right or you're in trouble yeah and and you're wrong <laughs> and it's bad to be wrong Bad, it's bad, like bad. it's like you should have known better to know. You did know better. How come you didn't? Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. Yeah. So, when I hear like, it's really difficult for Scientologists to admit fault. Yeah. It's your ass. Yeah. So, and we all know that you know, even though you're supposed to be protected when your stats are up, BS. No. Anyone if it's something to, big, they're not. Yeah. You can yeah. be in power, and guess what? Now you're in liability. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or even even Ron would do that crap where he'd say, "Okay, you're an emergency, but the ship is in liability." Mm -hmm. so oh yeah, or the org flag oh, no, was, flag yeah. was in lower conditions a lot when I was the flag land base as an org was in lower conditions. Can you imagine now? I bet you even if the stats are booming, you're screwed because the range is too low. Yeah, compared to years before, they're mm -hmm. ex they have already years where they've had millions and millions of dollars donated. So like the stats before are going to be way less 
I mean, unless they're getting their money from some other deeper pockets, which we would eventually all find out. But I think it's these deep donators. I want your opinion on this because I believe he no longer cares at all about people going up the bridge. That's just a little bit of bonus cream. I think no, he just needs things to be scam. able to continue you to can't get keep them. the real estate scam going if you lose your tax exemption. Yeah, and because you're taking, they have to pay taxes, and yeah. nobody's going to fucking pay business shit for this. Not only that, they then have to pay the people, the Sea Org members and everything, actual business wages. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they're not a religion. They're not uh, donating their time or whatever to a religious thing, you know? So there's a lot to it. I think it's, he just, he doesn't much care if it fails. And I don't, and I think he knows there's not much he can do about it. I mean, this internet's just destroyed the place. I'm going to head home right now because we got to get ready for Lapa Bow. Okay. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice I'm going to try to definitely make it there. I haven't been there in a minute. Kind of excited to like make an exact I sign. Been while, I yeah, I haven't been there. Yeah, yeah. Rah! <laughs> You're leaving? No. You're hanging. I'm hanging. Take it. Who's what guy? This guy? <laughs> the question X. Who is that guy? Oh, what Eric guy? Rader. Eric Rader. Eric. If that's who you're talking about. And if not, I can't answer. Yes, Eric Rader. <laughs> he said yes. His name's Eric Rader. That's a guy who's I interviewed, and we were just doing a long chat walk around the whole blue. So fun. Go follow him. He has a YouTube channel. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> so fun. That was so, so, felt so good to say crazy crap for the first time in mm -hmm. forever and have someone go, not only do I understand you, but I did that too, or yeah. whatever. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Yeah. And, like and I just said, the I, little details. There's little details. I'm trying to get the, I like this blue. Um, there's little details of like taking fucking niacin and all this shit. Uh, Such high, high levels of niacin and getting such little sleep and all this stuff it's just like there's more details than just a child going through like a, a difficult uh, schedule or going you know what i mean it's just 24 7 fear you're and always, anxiety yeah you're always checking you yourself yeah and i remember you saying that on one of your streams and you're just like it's exhausting it's yeah it's that exhausting. you don't even want to argue or go out of line anymore you're just no. like fine i'll just stay in check totally yeah it's just exhausting yeah it's so exhausting. You're just like, oh my God. And then at a certain point, you're like, oh, well, I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up going to the RPF if I do this. Oh, I'm going to do this. So you're just kind of like, no, I'm not going to do that. It's fucking exhausting. Yeah. That's why I would smile and go, I got all these ones. Where do I sign? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a lot easier than going to ethics. So did you have a plan or anything? Like, obviously, you don't know when your parents are ever dying or when we die or anything. But... Did you have any future plans either with your family or, or well, we got along for the first time as a family outside of my dad, we, we, we were, we were all on the same page and we, we got all the Scientology secrets out of the way, you know, and, and my mom would tell me, you know, that she knew it was bullshit, but what is she going to do? Cause your daughter's caught and your son's in it and she can't say nothing because she's not going to lose her family. So we're all looking at it. Yeah. How do we not screw this up? Yeah. How do we not um, hurt anybody? That's what's so fucked up. Leaving Scientology hurts. It hurts. Hurts your friendships. It hurts your family. It makes things difficult. Oh, well, now you did this. So now I have to be careful when I go, you know, like it's fucking annoying. It's so hard to release the tentacles of it. Well, my, my dad couldn't take the loss, right? Because he got everyone in it. Yeah. Right. It was him. He found this in like 68 in San Francisco when we lived up there. You know, hate Ashbury, whatever. And he was like the only guy not doing acid or whatever. He was like a health food dude and whatever. So he found Scientology. He's like, this is this seems fantastic. Yeah. And got you know, and then got his family in it. So you fast forward through all these years, and all the suffering we did, all the money that was spent, all the bullshit was because of him. So he wasn't going to take that 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 L. It's just too much. Yeah. So. He just bit down on the mouthpiece and, and you know, Scientology. But it, but he would say it's, you know, of course. It, the other thing, that? though, not people to be are... weird, not for people to not take a look at this that are trying to leave, is that a lot of our family members have done some shit that they don't want 
you to know about. And even if it's just an ethics handling that, wow, they finally got, you know, oh, I got off. Now, how can I, I can fix it with myself? Oh, whatever it is. There's shit that they're not, they don't want to leave mentally because they, their forgiveness is being held by Scientology on whatever those crimes are or whatever that they got off. Well, he, he, he was, it, it made him worthless. He did nothing for the family and uh, he would literally like read the dictionary. So, I mean, this is this is what this place does to you. He was like, okay, the management here is bad, so he took that independent route, even though he never went that way either. But he would verbally say, the you know, the tech's good, it's the people, you know. Yeah. And he he just like always I said, squiggle squaggle. Show me someone who who. And then the whole, even just basic shit like, yeah, show me somebody who what? Well, the, who defends this? that's done as much training as we have. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah, no, there's nobody. No way. They're running away. They're right. hiding in vans. That's right. all. That's literally all there if you're is. You're going to stand tall and go, oh, no, it rocks. <laughs> it's because you've done nothing yeah, you for 40 it. years. Yeah, and you're in a brainwashed spell. Yeah. Like my parents. Oh, man. Yeah, at least I had a couple good years before, before that. And uh, I still couldn't say. I mean, not even at least, though. The, to ta- to have the mind control of Scientology over your mind and your brain as a child, as a teenager, that's the worst. Oh. And to have parents who you know you can never have a deep connection with because of their way of thinking, because of Scientology beliefs. Believe me, I spun off the side of this planet yeah, when like, I turned like 21 or yeah. 20. I was at the rainbow four nights a week. You know, <laughs> I banged everything that moved. I smoked anything that would light. I drank until I was floating. I didn't give a shit about anything. <laughs> well, and, and sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> that's what I did you yeah. know, when I left the Puro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were uh, real fresh. Oh, ready. man, I was ready to go. So did you leave? The, when did you? Okay, I know everybody always asks me this, but when was the shifting point, did you think? Okay, even though you weren't leaving Scientology because you were like, oh, my parents and I'm never going to leave. I'm just going to go fuck off. I'm going to yeah. be out of ethics, right? Yeah. Was that during the purification rundown? Did you ever finish the purification I rundown? I finished it. You finished it, and then I a, tested the horse and then after the you're like, yeah. "Oh, good, now yeah. I can finally drink." Everybody right. starts to drink Pass again. That shit to the left. Right. All right, give me a beer. Let's go out. Let's do it. And uh, and did you feel great after your first beer? I mean, I'm saying, like, did you feel the next day like, oh, I, I had no I, problem with it. Yeah, you were just like, whatever. I finished the purif because you weren't really doing the purif to be cleansed. My, my sadness was, was, was family. Like, so yeah. I glommed on to, to girls that had like big families and I loved that shit. Like uh, Italian girlfriends who have, you know, they have 19 people in their family. It was so cool. And, yeah. Like, I felt like I was part of something. Yeah. And I never had that feeling anymore. Yeah. And I had to fake my smiles with my family's pictures from, you know, 19 All to the, 35. I did that my whole upbringing, yeah. like whole childhood. Oh, well, the, forever, the cadets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I was the norm. I yeah. had to fake it. Yeah, so there was no questions asked by family members. We weren't remotely happy. It's like they sink into the the mechanism of a family. Like they'll they'll start making the grandma or the mothers like feel weird about like being intimate or very connected with their kids. Well, we never said I love you mm-hmm. ever, and I, I've I've found that that's pretty normal par for the course, you know. Um, and like my dad wouldn't let me call him dad. I had to call him by his first name, like because you know you're not really related. He just flew out of his prick, and you know, right. we just are passing you, in the night you, you of our seventy seventh trillionth year of yeah. being everything you could ever be, and this psychotic nonsense. So I had no family, and so I would just uh, glom on to anyone's family. <laughs> you know? Oh, I did that all the time. <laughs> like, oh, should I be a living nanny? Da 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 da. Like every time, I would. That's all, and then I ended up globbing onto my. Yeah! yeah, that's right. Um, and I would then glob onto my friends and like think, oh, well, we're family. You wouldn't do that to me. Yeah, whatever. Right. You know, and couch surfing all this. It's just like, how, how is some, how are you supposed to be doing anything else? That's like, you're lucky we were even doing that and staying in line. Yeah. In whatever way we did. Like, so yeah. Yeah. And my sister told me too her that she she went to like a hundred countries, and she was literally searching for family. She was just trying to make anything give her that. Whoa, Nelly Furtado, watch your toes. 
to make uh, to give to give that feeling of of of, uh, of belonging. Yeah. And without without, and that's why, like you said, friends mean so much too. Because um, I couldn't believe I, I wouldn't get judged. I could go out in the real world and do damn near anything, and and, and, and people were like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. You know, you're used to doing things right here and getting shit on. <laughs> you yeah, know? you're like at least it's worth it almost. Like for the things that I'm achieving in the outside world, it feels like. Also, you're learning. That's the other thing. So even when you mess up, you're kind of like, oh, okay. It doesn't feel like security or ACO is coming after you. Yeah. Like, or you're going to be in a sec check for the next eight hours. I didn't know anyone who had a second dynamic eight weeks. here that that wasn't garbage. Right. Unless right. they were super super wealthy. Right. Because. Uh, they can got to sort of get away, with, yeah. Get away with more crap, right? Uh, so for me, uh, you know, like one of my first chalk things I ever wrote was, um, "What makes you believe your your second dynamic would be any better than Cruises, Travoltas, uh, yeah. Stavage, yeah. or LRH?" Yeah, right. They all had yeah. the worst two Ds on earth. Yeah. And they bend them, yeah, yeah. So why on hell? Why would you think it's going to be better for you? Right, silly. And they play. They pay ton of money and get pampered and by get David Miscavige, right. and make sure their cases are documented every second of the day. Yeah, right. yeah. So of course it's not going to be any better for the average person. Um, so you're sort of used to everything being psychotic, and it's mm -hmm. all become sort of normal. You're used to the abuse. Yeah. Used to the abuse. And, and you know, no one signed up to do this crap. No. Doing now. With the carpool vans and this uh, chick. Stop wasting your life. It's okay to not be a Scientologist. There you go. And you scream at the, you know, argue with the wall and scream in an ashtray and tell me your life is sound. And yeah. That's, that's the amazingness is. If look and don't listen, but if you ever did that, you'd say everyone's nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to listen to a ton of their crap, right? To even believe. Well, you. The thing nuts. is, is that when you start seeing things, you're actually changing your view of what you see. You're saying it's something else other than what's actually happening. Yeah. So when you're looking, you're not looking and listening. You're looking and listening as a Scientologist that you were trained to look and listen. Just look and listen. Don't. I mean, look. Don't listen. Yeah. 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 Don't listen to them. Just look. They're such DBs. No, DBs. No. The greatest no, D. Don't no. be a DB. Oh, I haven't heard that in so long. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. DBs. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I uh... So or nice. Dev T, or you don't need to. Oh, Dev T, develop traffic. Get out of here. Or you don't need to interbulate your, inter your parents. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you know what I'm thinking now too, because you know how they you know what I'm thinking. Say, we need to smoke another J and chill in this nice sun. Now that yeah. we can, we're not. I felt like it was annoying. And my battery is done. Right now we can this chill. This is awesome. You tried this? Oh, I have a pen too. What is? Is it a sativa or yeah. indica? Sativa. But it's only marijuana. Yeah. Okay. It's a sativa. Yeah. Here we go. Push the button and rock and Oh, roll. I have a shirt for you. Oh, cool. I don't know if you, I mean, Goldenrod's Goldenrod. I got you, the Goldenrod. Now that you've had an interview with me, you've earned your HTO <laughs> ethics. You. Nice. I wore it uh, for your Josiah's court. So now it has, I mean, it's still, but I was like, oh, this will fit Eric. Nice. nice. Thank you. They also love your quiet riot shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the pen. They love you, by the way. Oh, thank you, baby. You pushing the button? Okay. I'm the heavy hitter. I was gonna say that was a that was a championship hit you just took. There. Yeah, I know. Woo! Nice. <clears throat> mm, nice. You can have more. I'll have a little more. Yeah. Nice. Much as you need. A friend of mine took a took a hit, and it was so funny because he never worked that before. And I and I like, are you hitting that this whole time? And he's like, well, I wanted to get to it. <laughs> it was coming out of the back oh of his my neck. God, that's so <laughs> funny. Like, what the hell? 
Uh, Tilty Bird Law, I don't know if you saw, but item successfully delivered. Okay, I will check. I will check. I picked up a box today. Oh, dang it. I went to the... I only mailed off the CDs. I'm such a nerd. I mailed off stuff and forgot to pick up. That's annoying. Okay, well, I will get it tomorrow. Very excited. Oh, wait, what time is it, maybe? Oh, it's 5 o'clock. Actually, I'll get it today, probably. I'm going to call them and find out. Thank you for reminding me. Are you leaving, Tori? I am. Okay, Tor Tor. We'll see you at Late Night Magoo. Late Nights <laughs> with Magoo. we got to do a protest again. Okay, do you, I'm going to get a good thumbnail for you. Can you flick off the <laughs> camera? We need one of them for the Lara FM. Exactly. There you go. Wait, I need to get my Fantastic. head out. Okay, wait, do it again, Tori. Here you go. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, do you need any help? Here, I'll carry no. this. I'll carry this. Want to hold my hand? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me hold her because she was going to help me. She's not in front of me. All right, Laura's got it. Oh, Thank okay. You. I was going to walk you go. That's okay. We're good. I just noticed I was crashing right back. Right back that way. <laughs> Look at that nice sun. No, you're right. Sure. Yeah, they will stop for you in two seconds. They already see that we're walking. No, I used to be 100 pounds overweight. And my husband would go, hurry up, hurry up. And I said, do you honestly think they're going to crash into me? <laughs> no. I mean, they would destroy their car. No. Yeah, no. You know, and they would go to jail. It would be their responsibility. Do oh, you have your car key? Good job. I'm going to go in front of you. So they hit me first. And I got to do my... Uh, he waved. The, he said, I, I said, thank you. Car. And he went around. He said, no, huh? He went around. Over there. Oh, yeah. I was like, what thing? Yeah. <laughs> Uno momento, guys. They're so cute. Okay. They got everything. There. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye, Tori. See you soon. Over there? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to hang It'd be kind more. of fun to be like Scientology, right? Right? <laughs> Two feet. Two feet. Oh, back <laughs> over there. That's funny. <laughs> I thought you meant over to the org. That's hilarious. I can if you want. No. This is good. Bye. Oh, yeah, guys. I watched uh, DOA. Wait, are you chilling here? Yeah. We should sit right there. Right here? Yeah, near the, all the signs. But um, DOA, I went, uh, was watching, and also that guy went and shook the door. That was crazy, that guy. Yeah, and then I after we had, I was like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Super fun. And I was really glad that you did that. Yeah. Um, and then you didn't put any more attention on it. Yeah. Yeah, but I was like, uh-uh. No, like, and like, those some of those people, you just kind of can't be like, that's fucked up. You no, kinda, for sure. You no. Just gotta... And he did talk about the whole 5150 and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you doing the interview now? You haven't done the interview? You've just been chit-chatting? No, we already did it. We oh, walked did, all right. the way around. Oh, okay. You, if, for your chat, where's your chat? They're over there. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> um, that was going to be funny. I was like, what was I saying? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you were there to catch that lawyer for yeah, Zion because yeah. that's like a, that's such a huge like puzzle piece. Yeah. To see that, like we already kind of knew it, but for you to confirm it because because Sassafras came out and she didn't have the name right. No, I was like no. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like she had it down. <laughs> Yeah, and now I want to. Um, yeah. I, 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 uh, 
I want to help the lawyer more. Uh, who's lawyer? Josiah's lawyer. Yeah. More, what I've, what well, I'm going to get a Gibson go. We need to get him a regular lawyer, I think. Not yeah. a public defender. Yeah. Or do you think that she'd be capable of doing it? Yeah. I, I don't know why. Wait a minute. So Josiah went for his other court case. Were the both his court cases combined, though? The battery and the, uh, and the felony? Yeah, they moved. The, 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 the judge said the victim didn't, isn't in the room. I yeah. mean, the, his lawyer was like, the victim is not in the room. Which is Patrick Perry. Okay. Yeah. Aja, but he's got us. other charges too. We were trying to yeah. So, but they were moving the date the of those charges and all that to June to a later date. Okay. Anyways, June twenty sixth. But before they ended right that, the lawyer we in the hall. I said they need to um, make sure that the restraining order and stuff is very clear because that because i was like he needs to have his freedom and everything he yeah. was like no, no, i can't I'm i was like, like technically you can't even go outside of your apartment i was like no. he lives next to a little mission that's yeah. scientology yeah yeah they'll call it scientology when it's in their favor but they won't anyway yeah. so i just was like yeah, no and then uh just that yeah he's gonna need they're gonna need i was there at the Aaron thing and then i was in front of the testing center when he did his the other issue the other thing that they were saying so I'm like, no, I'm here to protect this person who's trying to do better. And I've heard, I've seen when people have tried to interrupt people's lives by Scientology when they were in the middle of doing better and it destroyed them. And then they are not with us. today. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, no, you're not doing that. I'm literally here to protect them. Yeah. That's it. Good. Good. But yeah, uh, it's just so crazy that the lawyer was there. The Scientology so lawyer was there. We want to know that. Yeah, you weren't there. That, that is was like, so important that you were there. Yeah, and so I feel like we'll see. Like literally, I'll be there June 26. I don't give a fuck where I am. Now I feel way too involved yeah. because I saw like, not that the lawyer would. I just feel like he wasn't being properly represented. Like, I'm not gonna say that after after we did just you know we had a good win this morning. <laughs> but I'm just saying he, they need to have all as much and all the information and that this isn't a light thing and he's not going to plead fucking guilty anything. And I told his lawyer, he's going to go. He is he is a protester. He's going to keep some protesting Scientology. It's not going to stop. And then, he, yeah, and he was like, yeah, like he was like, it was like, I just she was like, OK, yeah. So like if there's a it's a minimum 100 feet, fine. That makes sense until yeah. this court case is over. Well, fine. It was too broad. He didn't even know. What no, the know. judge didn't even know. Yeah. The judge didn't know. They just said two main properties. Yeah. So they had to just make that so up. So, yeah. Why is Tori calling me? She just left. Go Maybe on. she I left think. something. That's Thank funny. Love, uh, hello? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to get sick. You're supposed to be yeah, I'm so here. <laughs> well, it started. I need my vape back. Okay, okay I got that. Yeah, Sass is awesome. Yeah. She Thank forgot you. her thing. Is she coming back around? Yeah, she's coming back. Yeah! Hey, it's a cold! Z News. <laughs> All right. People now they're commenting on my Dio shirt and then my uh, yeah and my Quiet Riot shirt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. And your orange SP Raiders. I like this nice. orange color. Oh yeah. Well, you know it's funny too because when I first did this, like I never thought of saying Eric Raider, but everyone was calling me Raider guy. Raider guy. Right? Because we so can't like, assume who the fuck is who. Might as well run with it. And yeah. then I have like fifty. <laughs> Raider lid, so I'm like, this is cool. Plus, I thought to myself, so many people wear Raider gear that I could start giving these guys odd, you know? mm-hmm. and, and they can like, oh, here another fucking, you know, yeah, and it's just a regular two with a Raider hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so <laughs> funny. They don't know. You just have everybody like anonymous. Right. The mask. You just have everybody wearing Raider stuff. You don't know. So yeah. You start chalking up the place. It's like where's Waldo? <laughs> In a pool of Waldos. Right. <laughs> oh, you got your bag. Does that mean you're leaving? No, oh, okay. I was just charging my phone, and I felt like it couldn't move because the charger is a short cord. Uh, DOA's um, chat 
gave me this. That doing this. that's a pretty nice toy. Oh, um, Toa, you want? I'm gonna bring her. Her. Sorry, yeah. This, uh, yeah, I know. I was watching the stream when he gave it to you. I was like, oh, I'm that's so, so nice. Here you go, Tor. Yay. Is that all? Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Keep track of it. Bye. Yeah. I think Josiah is also waiting for the, he's going to wait for the paper. I like that he said that. For the paper? That was very responsible. Yeah. yeah. He's such a good kid. He's so cool. He and he's so like sweet and gorgeous. And I love his yeah. feminine. I love and I just, his, I he's just him. so bright. And I don't, I've seen too many people mess up their freaking lives. And I know, look at me being the older lady say that now. Okay. But when I was younger, I always heard older like people saying that, you know, like, so now I really, I really get that. That's right. No, Moss, it's a cult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she said, hide your shit. It's a cult. They'll take it. It's so great, guys. It's una secta. No more kids in Scientology. Eric's YouTube channel is Eric Raider. You could look up, you could probably just type in uh, in the search under channel holders or whatever. Um, you just put Eric Raider Scientology. But his his uh, thing is BS incinerator. incinerator. There's no 19 or anything no. like that. Okay. BS like bullshit. Right. BS incinerator. <laughs> incinerator. Okay. <laughs> Eric Raider pulls it up for everybody. I think. That's yeah, area does. And especially if they, if the algorithm knows you've been a, around a, you in the SBTV yeah. community. <laughs> Gotta um, tell me where where you're going to be on um, this the weekend gigs. Or is oh, I play uh, Thursday. This Thursday, not tomorrow. The next day. But then. 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm worth the shit on the weekdays. But what about? Um, oh, and then the next show after that would be May 4th, the Viper Room, and that's Saturday night. See, I can do that. Boom, 8 p.m. Sweet. Main stage. That will be super dope show. Selfless Self is going to drum. Really? Yep. That's just coming up here. Yeah. Wow. I exciting. mean, I've been, I've been, he's been, he was drumming before he got inspired to come out and do this whole, the protesting yeah. and all that. He was kind of protesting with drums and music on YouTube when he first, you know, drumming to my tracks. And I was like, somebody mentioned like, hey, this guy's drumming to your stuff. And I was like, what? And I looked and I was like, and I caught him live doing it. And I was like, no way, this is cool. He was just like, and he was good. He was like, I was like, I could hear, I could, I mean, I can tell drum, but I was like, this guy really took time to like learn this. That's so cool. I so, got to start a bullshit band just to get him back out in like a month. I was going to say, do you play any instruments no, uh, at all? Can you keep a beat? Sure. <laughs> so you could, there is potential. Oh, of course. <laughs> if I could get through this shit, I can do anything. <laughs> That's what I say. If I can get through Scientology, I can do anything. <laughs> Oh, hi, Melissa. <laughs> Bye. No comments like that. Nice try. So it's May Not 4th, you chat. said? Hi, Jen. Uh, yeah, May 4th, Viper Room, 8 p.m. Um, uh, I have to, there are tickets, so uh, people will just, I guess, Venmo or PayPal me direct, How and then I'll tickets? have your name on the ticket. You know? Uh, how much are the tickets? Fifteen dollars. You're so funny. You're so cute. He's like, how much are tickets? Well, no. I just want to just give Actually, money. you know what? I know, but I feel like my manager told me, do not say no when people are buying tickets from you. That is not your choice. Yeah, you know what she told me? She said that means you are 
taking money from me. <laughs> So am I supposed to give you money? No, that means you bought your ticket, and I sh oh. I was a, I was gonna say that I was gonna put you on the guest list. No, hell and no. so then I, I but then support. I then I thought of my manager's word that oh wait I'm taking her money and just giving her money away. The booking. Anyways, you guys get it. So you Eric is the first one who bought the Viper Room May Ford ticket. Yeah, right. Isn't that amazing? What goes around comes around. I, ain't that. I interview him. He buys the ticket. You're the best. Yay! <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> so Eric Raider bought no, bought a ticket, fifteen dollars May Fourth Viper Room, cash in hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I I've had a ton of friends in in bands. Sign bands, everything, and mm -hmm. I always like to pay them. I, wa I, want I love to support. Pay I love paying for my. I love paying to see my friends' bands play or bands that I like. I love buying their merch. I love wearing their merch if they're a band that I like. No doubt about it. Yeah. 1983. I'm still rocking. Yeah. I love it. You're gonna love the show. I feel like you'll love it. I'm like an 80s and 90s rocker. I do everything like real as fuck. I love it. I will be there. Yeah. Eric bought the first ticket ah, to the Viper Room. That's so pretty I cool. Have, I have 50 more. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, so this show is the first show is April 18th, this Thursday. And that's a cool little theater show at the Art Share LA. And that's at 8 p.m., but come early, 7 p.m. Same with Viper Room. Come early. Go on to 8 p.m. Yeah. It's going to uh, be awesome. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be free. Oh, I could have made way better songs for this psychotic cult. I'm tell so me, glad I didn't. Tell me if you agree with this. Even though the I've whole time. I always thought Scientology music sounded exactly like it's supposed to. Yeah, totally. Garbage. Oh, pfft. I didn't saying. realize you were having a fun joke. Well, you know, I'm saying those tunes Garbage. Like oh, yeah, but they also are doing it in these really repetitive brain. Like when you learn about music and how it's made and how music can be used to torture people, Ooh. it's like pretty intense. It's so cool to see me standing in your reflection at the blue building. Guys, nice. can you zoom in on his glasses? Do you guys see that? Isn't that dope? It's pretty dope, not going to lie, with the <laughs> orange hat. <laughs> Quiet, riot! Uh, bang your head. Bang your head! Um, yeah, so this Thursday, April 18th, it's totally donation based. It's the Art Share LA. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to go live on my, on my, for subscribers only. So make sure you're nice. You're live, your alerts are on loud. That is cool. What a bonus. I br I brought this for you. Oh, really? I was like, oh, me and Eric will have like our little sugar-free <laughs> vitamin mineral drinks. I was going to make a joke. Like, here's our vitamins now. You don't have to take them with uh, whatever, water. Hi. Hi, guys. Doggies. Ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> I always think the little dogs think they're ding, 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 so their little paws. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, I ended up stealing yours. You know, I'm addicted to the things. I think there's like something addicting in here, guys. I'll tell you something. When, when like Selfless makes me keep drinking. And I were standing here talking on my first day I met him. Yeah. Some dude comes by. I think it was that same guy on that bicycle. And he had um, Danger Zone. Ooh. Rocket. Nice. Some loggins. And the Highway <laughs> to the Danger Zone. <laughs> we're gonna go <laughs> That cuts through anything you're oh doing. Oh my God, like totally. Butter. Running on the edge, <laughs> feeling like you feel it's high. high. Do, do, do. Even the drums, even the calm parts. Highway yeah. <laughs> to. That's hilarious. They used to play that all the time in, in the Sea Organ Scientology. The Boson Party. Goes, that was Danger yeah. Zone. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Danger Zone. That, We're going to take it. Oh my God. That would knock you right out of session. Oh, yeah. If you call it the Danger Zone uh, FN or something, like, or Rock Slam. Danger Zone Rock Slam. Yep. 
You don't want to be a rock slammer now. <laughs> no rock slamming around here. <laughs> I'm a meatloaf and Pink Floyd fan. I like all music. Pink Floyd's fucking amazing. I'm a Judas Priest dude. I saw Judas Priest. I went. That's another thing you should do. Have you seen live bands? Oh, I've seen everybody a thousand times. Oh, you have? That's right. You weren't in the Sea Org. I forgot that. Like, I was just not allowed to go fucking to, to those at all. Too. Okay, I just read. I feel like it was still recent, but I bet you that's how everybody feels when they see a big concert show. But I, uh, in uh, November, uh, there was, there. Uh, I say this all the time. Um, I, tell the, I tell the chat all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Judas Priest, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh, I saw Tool. Metallica, Judas Priest, uh, Guns N' Roses, Iron Maiden, and ACDC. Isn't that insane? And Ozzy was supposed to play, but Judas Priest replaced him because Ozzy's like, can barely. I saw everybody at their absolute best. So good. It did the fucking cleanse my brain a bit. Cleanse my soul. I was like, whoo. And I felt much better about rocking out. I was like, (laughs) fuck off. You. If I'm too loud, fucking go out. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, there was a rock station here in LA called KMET, and um, it was the biggest rock station. And they were like, I've never seen a, a, a uh, an ad like this. Like they were promoting an ad. They said like in, in a Dianetics like, ad. No, 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 no. Oh. Nothing new here. It said, oh, like, oh. In 18 days, you know, we're gonna blow your mind or something. What the, by the time I got there, like this better be good. And then it was you know, like that guy with the voice of like Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It had that like. But it you goes, could do good voiceovers. <laughs> Sunday. You yeah, just need a few Sunday. words that are. Yeah. And How it, do you feel? And it goes like, this is his ad. It goes, David Bowie, Judas Priest. You know. Oh yeah, <laughs> David Bowie, <laughs> Judas. Ass. Oh uh, my god. You know, yeah. Boingo, boingo. Yeah. You too. Yeah. You know, Stevie Nicks. And it just goes for like 30 seconds, right? Yeah. You know, what the fuck? Is it a joke? Us Festival 2! Because Us Festival 1 was yeah. the year before, and they said they'll never do it again. Us two. Festival 2. And so I'm they did like, what the fuck? They did it? Yeah. And so, no way. That's awesome. So um, day one was like New Wave Day or whatever. Yeah. And then day two was Heavy Metal Day, and there was yeah. 300,000 people. Yeah. It was the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Quiet Riot Open. This is an 83, so this song, I mean, wow. Come On Feel Noise is the biggest hit in the country. Yeah, that's that, crazy. Yeah, they open. <laughs> and then. I wonder how Bobby loud Drew the speakers are. The Devil. Yeah, the album had no come way. out yet. It's the first That's time they ever so played cool. anything from that album. That album. They never oh played anything. Oh my goodness, guys! And then um, after them was Ozzy in the first show ever with Jakey e. Lee, and he was just tearing that shit up. And then the next show was Priest, and it was the last show of their Screaming for Vengeance tour, so they had it down pat, right? That's yeah. They were like clockwork. I mean, I feel like they always do. They like were. they just have a solid crowd of people. Oh, like I don't know if they're in their own cult or whatever, but they definitely have. That was the sickest Like, ever. just like... And then Triumph played after them. Um, and then um, Scorpion, best show of my life. That was unbelievable. Scorpion? Yeah. Scorpion. yeah. I feel like I miss... Going over everything. Yeah, I need, like... Hey, anybody in the chat have any of these fun tickets? Any of these bands that he mentioned, I'm down for them all. And I would actually see any of... The bands I went to, Metallic, any of those live, absolutely. Uh, and then I saw they got to be good tickets, though. Van Halen, then. Can't, um, I can't not see them. But actually, there's certain points, if you were to be in VIP and stuff, it actually wouldn't sound as good as how it sounded in certain points, like certain areas out at, out in you know out in the desert, just like, doo, doo, doo. but shit. Yeah, yeah this anywho. was such a crazy day. And then the next, and it was funny, me and my buddy, uh, I was like 14, and my buddy was uh, 18. We were like, we had no idea where we parked, right? There's, imagine 150,000 cars or something. It was a joke, and it wasn't even a parking lot. It's just like Glen Helen Regional Park. Oh, my goodness. So we couldn't even find the, the truck. So we, everyone was so nice back then that everyone would give you food and beer, and this guy let us stay in there in his RV and sleep. And then the next day was um, David Bowie headline, and it was his Let's Dance tour, first show in five years anywhere on earth. He was wearing that yellow suit, you know, for Let's Dance. Yeah. Sick. 
and Stevie Nicks, her first uh, show in forever. And, um, but yeah, I saw you too. Every, every missing persons, everybody. Uh, just on in that, that one. So weekend. you felt you got that all taken care of in your life. And then I saw everyone else a million times. Like one thing I, I did always was go to shows. So I saw everybody 20 times. That's so cool. That's so smart. It probably yeah. saved you. I mean, just music and knowing the outside world a bit. It was just something that no one could take from me, you know, that was... Uh, right, your own experience yeah. with it. And, and You're like, this is not auditing. Oh. This isn't a course I took. Yeah. Or was, was forced wonderful. to take. Wonderful. It was wonderful. It was better than auditing. I really lucked out growing up when I did because um, everyone was at their very best. Now some good music shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I love the 80s and 90s. I love the 80s. Such a difference. Um, getting, doing this, like, <laughs> Did I tell you the first? <laughs> I always watch like William go like this with his phone, right? And I see Chris like doing this or whatever, and I see Pete, Danny, and so I thought like I was, I don't know, I thought I figured it's probably in a good spot or whatever. And I was talking to William, and then when I when I watched it. Um, it Both was literally, bodies. no, it was literally <laughs> on Jessica's tits for like five minutes. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, dude, we need to look where the camera is. I thought I could just go like this and pretty much tell where it is. No. Yeah. No freaking idea. <coughs> Shitty camera work for me, guys. No, I mean I don't. I don't have the best camera. I gotta get a new phone. This is brand new phone, so that should be alright. Well, let's see. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see. You have your shirt. DOA, do you have a big bag, like a trash bag? I can take all the trash. Yeah, I have. I got one bag. I'm going to throw that in and all this. Do you, you don't have like a actual trash bag? She's got, she's taking that bag. Okay. I'll just take all that. Tori and my stuff. You're hurting my feelings. I don't got any fucking feelings, motherfucker. How's that? Save that, fucker. Do you know who's this? I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh! Oh wow! At least it's orange. At least it's orange. Is that corduroy? Are those cool corduroys? Yeah. It's like uh, really like thin corduroy. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Until the orange. Is that hot sauce? Yeah. Yeah. On your salad? Um, I don't want that. I'm using for this. Oh. Get it. Oh, I thought you were gonna wipe the handle. Oh, what handle? Of the bag where all the drip is. Oh. It's okay, it's too late. No, I'm just going to hold it like this. <laughs> Away from you, me. Would you take these two? What's that? Oh, from the salad. Are these your glasses? Oh, no. they're mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I... Oh, I yeah, can hold your chair. It's all good. Just watch your hand. You can, you can anytime you want. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to walk with it. Any more? Uh, if you've got that bag. What time is it now? Let's see. 5.30. You going to love Bell tonight? Uh, yeah. What's happening over there tonight? I just want to protest the restaurant and all that shit. And Francois Foster and let the neighborhood know it's not okay. And everybody that's connected to Danny Masterson and... All that are going to get exposed. Nice. 
their business must be suffering by now. I don't care. I'm saying. I hope they should it is. stop hope holding on. I hope it's absolutely destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, I already said that. I hope it's absolutely destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to walk with you. And we are going to stay. Oh, wait. You're staying here for a minute, right? You got your shirt? There. Yeah, yeah. Good. He's got his SPTV shirt That's that right. I. Yes, you're. Uh, is everyone leaving? That I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I felt like he is. Yeah, you can. I feel like DOA is because he's pulling the well, side. I'll, I'll bail out. I've, I've been here a while. No, you don't have to leave. I mean, I, I've you can been do whatever for you want. two, three hours. <laughs> Wasn't that a good interview, guys? Oh, nice. <laughs> Scotty, are you going to poop? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> La poop. La poop. Okay. Okay, cool. Look at how cool Scotty looks, guys. So how many bags do you have left of these frozen Skittles? Or have you eaten? Oh. Be honest. Guys, look at him in directness. How many bags of frozen, of um, freeze-dried Skittles have you had within the last month? <laughs> Too many. No, no, no I me. gave you the, I no, gave, but I ate, I ate some. Answer the question. Answer the question. The equivalent had, of eating them. I've had a bag. A full bag. A full bag in a month. And can we see how one full bag looks, please? Just so they really get, look at that guilty <laughs> face right there. <laughs> Look at this guilty face. Wait, just want to see how thick this. No, huge... this one wasn't. I guys, no, 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 look. No, 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 show no, no, them. No, no, squeeze no, no, the back. No, no, no. Look at the thickness of this, guys. No, 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 no. no. Just saying. No, oh my no, god, it's really. Uh, I gave her the bag. You got. No, I ate a little. He bit handed of it. me them. He handed me them when they were literally three fourths empty. No, half empty. Yes, three fourths, and I'm not good at math, so that's amazing that I said that. Three Whatever. fourths Whatever. empty. Whatever. You're exaggerating. And ah. and ah. he said, shit. "Take these She's away from shit. me. I will continue to yes, eat them." Yes, they're super addictive. They're like crack cocaine. Okay. They're very addictive. Okay. I don't know if you guys Just have say. had a. Uh, That's a feather. Oh. Everybody look for the feathers. <laughs> I bet you it's in the back. You probably hit went on the yeah. ceiling. People keep coming with things for me, and I'm running out of room. Did you close that door for it? It's not doesn't close anymore. Oh, so that holds it. Yeah. Okay. And your tool? Yes. Were you just seeing how long? Ew. I touched the bag again, guys. They said you're like a kid caught. The cookie jar. Your hand Linda, 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 listen. Listen, Linda, Linda. You, they said 100%. Off, what the hell are you putting hot sauce on a salad for? Who does um, that? It was ahi tuna. Oh, it was an that. ahi tuna yeah, avocado yeah. salad. Yeah. And that you put spicy sauce on the, on the ahi tuna with the oil and the lemon oh, and the ranch dress. I mean, the oil and the lemon and the salt. And it's really good. I still don't think no, it's all over mine. And you eat it with the french fries and the chips. Nice. The tortilla so, chips. Thank you. Wait, so I can hold it together now? That's Look at that, guys. Yeah, but that's... No, it's fine. Proper bag of trash. Yeah. Nice. Kate. I don't, I, uh, Tilty Bird, I think I'm going to get that art piece tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to go get my mail tomorrow. That way I can just be home and chill and hang with Foxy Lady. Yeah. Foxy Lady. <laughs> okay, you got that trash? Yeah, I got it. Somebody? Okay. And you have your shirt, Eric? Okay, tell everybody bye, Eric. Bye. Thank He's you guys awesome. for listening. 
Yes, we will continue we to listen it. more. And you're always, we have each other's number now, so now we can. Thank you so much. can always call and be like, Laura, did this ever happen to you? Thank you. We are here. Thank you. We are your long life family now. I love it. Isn't that great? I love it. Hey, bye, darling. Bye, DOA. Later, <laughs> Later Gator. Later, Gator. Okay, bye, darling. Thank you for being here. I will see you guys. She's addicted to chat. Oops. Look at her. She's just over the chat. She likes right to read it. Thank I you, was reading it. Thank no, because they, they're it's asking fun. questions. They're asking questions. Yeah, the, no, the, the rude questions. ones you could just ignore. Okay. Did I make the I whole stream about look me? Look at, look at well, I don't know shit about Scientology. <laughs> you don't. You just ignore all that. Because there's trolls. There's people in the chat who purposely. Yeah, who know. They're there just to do that. Yeah, where it doesn't fall this way. Okay, bye. Well, that's the one. Eric, are you going? Yeah, Oh, you are. Okay. Eric's going to walk with me. And then how come I can't get these down? But I did that. Is this your guys' oh, water? <laughs> one thing at a time. One day at a time, one thing at a time. <laughs>
mind boggler. We haven't had a Jeter. Oh, I love baby Jeter. Uh, I like the two, two grand ones and the one grand one. <laughs> I love them all. But there's I so many it. great flavors. Oh my God. Yes. Apple For fritter. sure. What For the sure. hell? Look, this is my nail plate. They might be closed. Yes, they're closed. See, oh yeah, five. It's just crazy. Yes. Okay, I walked you to your car. Or are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm gonna walk to my, in the Where direction of my house. Oh, you, you live on I there. live very, very near where I can. I mean, it's a bit of a walk, but I enjoy it. I keep thinking I'm holding something for you, but it's the I trash. Um, it's the trash that I'm bringing to my, to the dumpster. Right. You know, I kind of like walking. Okay, good. Yeah. It's nice. Sorry. Daytime. Okay. You're, or fine, fuck it. I'll take a ride. Good. <laughs> I was like, you know what I thought? I was like, I still have to take Foxy on a walk. Ugh. That's so funny. I was <laughs> like, I have to still walk Foxy, so why burn my energy twice? <laughs> I want her to have her good walk. <laughs> Okay, guys, I love you guys so much. I'm going to end the stream. Thank you so much for being here and supporting and listening and listening to Eric's story and our conversation and our walk and all that jazz and laughing and learning and loving. Learning and loving with you, you, and you. Bye. Say bye, Eric. Bye, Eric. Bye, Eric. <laughs>